What lifts me up is seeing other people reach their full potential and even exceed their full potential. The reason that I made this event is because I wanted to see what was possible for them when they were the focus and when they felt deserving of more than they even believed in themselves. themselves. These kind of opportunities were all I dreamt of when I was coming up and being able to remove roadblocks for them that I ran into in the past. It feels like going back in time and fixing it for my younger self. For my younger self. The group of girls featured in this video are such incredible individuals and they're all so different from each other, but they share the same passion and the same dreams. I think seeing their drive to progress and being with them in the trenches is one of the most sincere ways to get to know somebody.
It was never about being the best. It was about proving what we're capable of. And whether it's me doing that or it's me enabling them to do that, we all win in the end. The reason that this is important, it's not just for these girls that I'm helping out right now, it's for all the ones that come after them. Hey, 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 what is going on from wherever you are watching? It is a massive day. The second annual Uninvited Invitational going down at Woodward Park City in the beautiful state of Utah. My name is Craig McMorris alongside the talented and, you know, our expert, Dara Reed McLean. Dara, how are you feeling today? Wow, Craig, I'm feeling so good. I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm so excited to watch the snowboarding go down. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a fantastic day. The weather is absolutely perfect. The course pristine and um, the riding has been exceptional. But before we get to all that, Dara, let's throw it to Jess Kamura and this entire team that built this course um, here at Woodward at Park City and let them explain what's going on. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Jess Kamira. We're here at Woodward Park City for the 2024 Uninvited Invitational. Nothing like this has ever been done before. We did it last year, but we're just taking it to the complete next level this year. We are so excited to be here. They're starting to put the rails in right now. We have a completely new fleet of rails that the park crew and our lead builder, Ben Belak, has built for this competition specifically. We're not reusing any features. Everyone at Woodward has been working so hard to make this happen. We're just super excited to be here. It was actually our dream to have it here at Woodward Park City. The venue is super close to the bottom because we want it to be accessible. Um, it's a perfect venue for this. I'm Maddie Montgomery. I'm a lead here at Woodward Park City and we're here building the Uninvited Invitational. The projects I typically work on here are the events and projects in the shop, like the rails or if we have any maintenance that needs to be done. The thing I enjoy most about my job is being able to laugh at dumb stuff and hanging out with my friends all day. There's definitely a lot more women's events coming into the industry, like Take the Rake, which I think is introducing a lot of women to train parks and welding and being in the shop and the camaraderie of all of it. This project is definitely the most challenging projects I've done. I'm definitely exhausted, but it's very rewarding and it's definitely worth it. This is my best friend, Carla. I grew up snowboarding with her and she's come here to be our operations lead and to help with all of the moving and shaking that needs to happen. Yeah, I think it just takes so much logistics and a bunch of different teammates to come together to make this happen. Me and Jeff spent years grinding, filming video parts together, and this event feels kind of full circle. It's been a long time coming, and it's time to give back. We have 70 riders from 20 different countries come here to win $55,000 US prize money. We just wanted to thank the entire park crew at Woodward Park City, the staff, the cat drivers. Just everyone has it having a part at making this happen and making this be something that the girls will never forget. Well, Dara, that was a great look at how this course was made and what this event is kind of all about. But I want to take a second to talk about Woodward Park City. And we had a blast riding here yesterday, as well as watching the day one and two qualifiers. Uh, favorite feature from you yesterday, what you rode on. Talking about you. Talking about me. Well, I didn't get the opportunity to ride the course yesterday. Yeah. And of course, I would have loved to Absolutely. because Ben has done a phenomenal job of building that <laughs> thing. But I did get to ride the park at Woodward yesterday. And those jumps, the medium line, three in a row, I haven't hit jumps that well built in years. It was, it was so a blast. It was a blast. Got a little slushy at the end of the day, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I put my sunscreen on. It was hot out there. It was about 18 degrees Celsius. It was. It was. But uh, that didn't deter any of our day one or day two standouts. And I know we really have to give them some shine because... Um, 
it's been a lot of competition thus far, right, Dara? It has been, and they've really been putting on a show, and I don't, they've been, it's been amazing to watch. Absolutely. Who is one of your favorites um, that you've seen? I mean, we've got the list here. Um, I really liked Ellie Weiler in day one and Taylor Elliott in day two. I loved watching Ellie Weiler, her front blunt 270 on that wall feature day one. That was really impressive. She tried that a few times, really persevered, got it clean. It was nice to see. Um, she had a great backflip on the hip day one. Uh, Jess has been really fun to watch. She's only 14 years old, and she actually is one of the wild card submissions that made it through to this event. That's, yeah, that's correct. That's Jess Perlmutter. She actually won the Bombhole Cup that happened just a week ago here. So she's only 14 years old, but I think she is definitely one to watch and a Subaru standout from uh, day one and then um, it's it's been absolutely wild to see um, the prize purse we talked about those day one and day two standouts but each one of those riders walks away with $500 USD and that's just a little that's just the tip of the iceberg that's Tara. just the tip of it and that's $500 USD correct that's a lot of money in Canada I a couple mean, Canucks here you could buy a lot of things in Canada with that <laughs> that's great that's a nice way to start the day just a big check 500 USD and we'll talk about the prize money for this main event here. We started with 75 riders uh, two days ago, but before that, there was an event in Europe, the European qualifier, and some of the riding uh, was absolutely, well, it was astronomical. Speaking of which, let's take a look at it right now. We got a little breakdown of that European qualifier for you. The reason that I wanted to have this event was because of how blown away I was by the girls, a lot of them who were here that came over to the main event last year. And seeing you ride yesterday in practice was kind of fucked up. If you're just joining us, that was a look at the European qualifier. Uh, the winners of that, a free trip here to the Uninvited Invitational, the second annual. And let's pay that off a little bit, Dara. There was some amazing riding in Europe, uh, some standouts for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, Telma Sarkipaju, she won the European qualifier. Uh, she had an, an unreal cap 270 brought it back. It was so nice. She's only 19 years old. So to be doing tricks like that and executing them well, it's really incredible to watch. Absolutely. And talk about that prizing. I think, yeah, money's great, but a free trip to the Uninvited Invitational, the big show, if you will. I mean, there's got to be some butterflies for Calma a little bit. Yeah. And that's just another example of Jess creating opportunity for girls. It's not easy to get to America from Europe. So the fact that these girls want a trip to compete in the North American field, it's really incredible. It is, it is. And it's uh, even more impressive to see her, you know, qualify through the European event and then get here. And there's two days of riding. And, and we talked about a little bit off the top, 75 riders attacked this course, right? They had to cut that down to 35. And I didn't want to be a judge. I don't watch. think it was easy for them at all. I know they deliberated for over an hour yesterday to make those cuts. To cut, to cut that 75 down into 35. And speaking of those 35, let's take a look at uh, some rider intros here um, and see who is riding today. Very exciting.
Greg. Wow is right. That's the only word I can use to describe uh, this talent pool that will be attacking the uninvited invitational course here at Woodward Park City. Uh, the stage is set, Dara. The riders went from 75 when we just saw the final 35 make it into the finals here. Um, and I think we're, uh, we're only two minutes away. I want to talk about something really quick just to give our friends who are watching from all around the world a little update on what these judges are looking for. We just talked to head judge Katie Cook, um, who has been here all week and been watching the riding. She kind of gave us a little insight into what they're looking for and how you win this event, Dara. Yeah, and an interesting fact about Katie Cook, she's actually one of three women who is at the Olympic level of judging. So we have a very qualified woman out there watching these girls judging. Um, and what are they looking for? They're looking for execution, difficulty, variety of features, creativity, and style, very important. Absolutely, we, it was, she was ruthless, for lack of a better term. She was talking about some of the tricks that I thought were pretty impressive. Uh, Katie and the rest of our judging panel, who we will introduce momentarily, said you gotta get to the end of the rail. You got it. You got to look good doing it. You better. And you can't just do the same thing everybody else is doing, right? They want to see if somebody, if everybody's doing 50 50s, you got to do something backlip. You got to do something board slide. You got to attack this entire course. We want to see them hitting a variety of features. You can't just stick to the down bar and you have to hit the hip as well. Absolutely. There's a lot to do out there and we want to see them working the field. And they have enough time, right? It's, you know, almost three hours of ride time here in this jam session. The judges are going to be watching everything. So there's, um, you can't blame time it's if you don't get day. to all features. Plenty you know? of time, big day, a little bit of strategy endurance wise, but they do have time. Speaking of that, you competed in the very first um, uninvited invitational. I did, Craig. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, absolutely. That was at uh, Woodward Boreal. And what kind of strategy did you take to that? And after riding in one, what you know, experience or, or tips would you give the field here? You know, I can't say I had much of a strategy going <laughs> into a contest. Um, but the enough plan, about no me. Let's go back to these 35 riders. <laughs> You don't like talking about your strategy, <laughs> Well, hey? I don't come from a contest background, um, but I am excited to watch it, and I love what's happening out there. It's not for me. It's mental uh, war <laughs> out there. <laughs> but I, I, think, can't, I can't handle the pressure, personally. That's why I film video parts, Craig. Well, and a lot of this field films video parts. That's why I think it is so interesting, uh, folks at home, this field, right? You don't see this kind of field competing in this event or this format very, very often. You look at this this rider list, and yeah, there are a couple names that are competing at the Olympics. I look at Annika Morgan of Germany. She's been to the Olympics, and there's a couple slope styler big airs, but most of these individuals are filming video parts. They're in the streets, similar to what you do. So it's kind of, uh, you gotta put on a little bit of a different hat when you enter the contest arena. Um, and you wanna put on your best hat, Dara, because the prize purse is like no other. You want to bring your A-game. Somebody today is walking away with $13,000 USD. And like we said, that is a lot of money in Canada. <laughs> 13 grand. I don't think we can stress that enough. And not only that, but someone else is going to be walking away. Second place, 10 grand USD. Third place, $7,000. Fourth, five grand. Fifth, three grand. And then there's just a bunch of other $1,000, $1,500 checks being tossed out for, and these girls deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. And, and I'm going to talk about those $1,500 checks, right? You talk about first through fifth getting uh, big chunks of change. Again, all in US dollars for a couple of Canucks in the booth here. That's a lot of cash, OK? There's also a best trick award, most creative heart award, best bail. That's going to be an exciting one. Um, there's a one to watch award. There's a best air. There's a style award, an unleash the beast award, super rookie one, super rookie two, all of those that I just mentioned are walking away with $1,500. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Could do a lot with that. Absolutely. And for a group that's uh, historically been under-supported for their snowboarding, they're going to really appreciate those checks. I think, you know, Jess has done so much for this event. She's done so much with um, the, the Uninvited film series. And then these two events here, uh, last year obviously at Woodward Boreal and here at Woodward Park City, the Uninvited Invitational, I think that is that is the thing that she really wanted to cement in there is if you're going to come to this, if you're going to spend your own money, if you're going to put your body on the line, you deserve to be rewarded and that she's done with a $56,000 prize purse at the Uninvited Invitational. Yeah, that's been Jess's mission and we appreciate her. <laughs> we appreciate her.
You're going to hear her name a lot. She is the mastermind of this whole endeavor, Jessica Murray. Yes. She wears so many hats, too, right? We had our, uh, our Video commentators. Video producer, yep. rider, event coordinator, party planner. Um, I mean, she's... Oh, we've got Henna up there. First rider, Henna Ikola, looks like she's almost ready to drop in. She looks focused. She looks focused. Notice that bib on her right leg. That's going to denote her natural way of riding. So Hannah, a right foot forward or goofy footed rider, uh, kind of sucks to go first, I feel like. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of eyes on you. I would be very nervous, but I bet Hannah's got something pumping in her earbud. <laughs> what do you think she's listening to? What is Hannah listening to? Uh, she listens to a lot of rap music. I bet she's got something obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we talking, 21 Savage, Young Dolph? I don't know what the kids are listening to these days. Okay, she's getting warmed up, she's getting pumped up. She looks fast <laughs> in those sunglasses. She does. I feel like you're going to have to wear, especially with, you're going to hike a little bit. It's going to get a lot hotter. There's a little bit of a wind um, on the course right now, so I think it's going to hold the snow a little bit more firm than we saw yesterday. Yesterday was quite warm, very little breeze, but let's get this thing kicked off, Dara. Oh, yeah, here she goes, Henna Ikola. Wow. Gap board slide, beautiful stale fish on the hip one. That's Did all you can ask for. Did not show nerves at all. What a great way to open up the course. Now remember, folks at home, this is a three-hour I did not stutter, three hour jam session. So you have plenty of time to work this entire course, figure out where you want to go. This is Madison Blackley. Ooh, beautiful front gap, gap front lip there. And these girls have been warming up on this course for the last two days. So they kind of know what to expect feature-wise. That's Kalia Opal. 50-50 on the waterfall rail. The first rider we've seen hit that waterfall rail. Seen a lot of gaps. Like that one right there, gap front lip. Celine Lakatha. Nice method. Dara, what would you do in this situation? You know, it's the first uh, the first run of a long... Holy smokes! That was a... That was a board slide same way through this down flat down. Not even a practice run. She just went right for it. And a beautiful another board slide there through that down flat down. What would I do on this course, Craig? Yeah. There is a North Face tent up there, and I know for a fact that there are snacks in there. <laughs> okay, so, oh, we've lost, oh, oh. we've lost headgear. Like we said, there's a bit of a breeze up there. Okay, this looks like Elena. A oh, fellow and Canadian. she's going to help and that's, out. That's just camaraderie right there, hey? That's what we love to see. You love to see it. The girls help each other out. They're all friends up there, but they are in the competitive mindset right now. <laughs> they want a piece of that prize purse. That's Katie Kennedy. Gap 50-50. We've seen a lot of gap board slide, gap lip, but we have not seen a gap 50-50 from too many of our riders here. Katie Kennedy doing it there. I saw her yesterday do a really nice kind of, you know, Wildcat or Michael Chuck on the quarter or on the hip feature. Let's see if she this does that one again. Ivica Jurgensen. She's from Estonia. She's actually an Uninvited Films alumni. We're excited to see her here today. Did you go on many trips with Ivica? I did. First year we went on a trip to Quebec. Huh. Yep. I'd like to do more with her. Maybe one day. There's your I, Nidecker teammate. That's my Nidecker teammate, Mila Stalker, out of Australia. She qualified through that European qualifier. Ooh, nice little gap. That ledge feature looks fun. It looks fun. I was talking to Ben Bullock. I'm going to take time to pay him off really quick. He, uh, you know really big supporter of everything that Jess does and and for lack of better he's the Michelangelo with a rake right he's Michelangelo yeah he's the tortured artist when it comes to shaping and um, this is his Sistine Chapel so many of these features he fabbed together himself and uh, he makes it look like concrete he told me it's not concrete I'm trying to get the recipe for that ledge he's keeping um, it a secret he is yeah a lot of people have been asking this is Mary Brown's chicken recipe he's not giving that up whoa oh. back lip from Ellie Wow, Ellie Weiler right there out of Colorado. Ellie Weiler, one of the standouts from the first day. 
And back to Ben Bullock. He is well respected and well known in the industry for his meticulous uh, attention to detail when it comes to shaping and building. You could word. You could use the word perfectionism when it comes you to could. Ben Bullock. Maybe even obsessive. Maybe I didn't say it. <laughs> there, you said it. But look at this course. I mean, with great pressure comes, you know. Great stuff, and that's what <laughs> and not, <laughs> Ben brings it. And not without the support of Woodward Park City, of course. Absolutely, it's, it takes a team to build yeah, this. They've been working hard out here for many days leading up to this event. From what I've seen so far, Dara, it looks like uh, the riders are really, you know, focusing on this top section first. We do know there will be a bald-faced best air after this event is done. Everybody that was competing in the past two days gets to come ride, and uh, they're going to give a free trip to Bald Face for that event. But right now, this is the main show here, Dara. Yeah, and some of them may be saving their energy for that Bald Face Best Air Award. I know I would. I would love to go to Bald Face. In our meeting, um, they told us about that, and Dara... Your expression changed. You I want did. to jump out the booth. I was like, you know what? We're going to have to find another announcer. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get in that chopper. <laughs> well, not short on prize money or trips here at the Uninvited Invitational. Let's take a look. Grace, Grace Warner. Gap board slide there. Left foot forward or natural way of riding. So uh, making that gap board slide look easy. She looks smooth on a snowboard. Whoa! A little nolly out of that 50-50 right there. That is Luna. She is another wild card winner. So she submitted a video to Jess among many videos and it was selected to... Um, she was selected to join in this field, and here she is in the finals. Absolutely, making it making it through that 75 rider field into this 35 rider final. Her full name, Hirana Ishihara, but she goes by Luna out of Tok or out of Kyoto. Pardon me. Here comes Madison Blackley. Okay, so they're running through this course quick because this is already Madison's second. Second run. We thought this was going to be more of a marathon, right? We thought there was going to be some pacing involved. But there oh, is. There is not. We're already going for the back two setting from Annika Morgan. Out She'll of, get that next try. Out of Germany, Annika Morgan. Um, I saw on Instagram she put that down in day one. And, yeah, these uh, girls are wasting no time at all. No. It's a feverish pace. There's a good look at that. I call that the softball feature uh, fabbed up by Ben Bullock. That actually a softball uh, pitcher, so that's why he built that. That's a little fun fact. Yeah, take that home. Man of many talents, Ben Bullock. Perfectly oh. on the coping. That Anderecht was um, well done. Okay. <laughs> like I said, wasting <laughs> no time at all. <laughs> Leva Tano out of Zurich, Switzerland, going backside 180 onto the down bar. And Livia won second place at the European qualifier, so she as well won a trip to this event. She's playing with house money, if you will. <laughs> Free. So that was Katie Kennedy right there. Kalia Opal. She's a Salt Lake City local, originally from Iowa. You told me something really interesting about Kalia. I did, Craig. You know, fun fact about Kalia, she is allergic to corn, and she grew up in Iowa, which is actually a huge distributor of corn. So that's a fun <laughs> fact for you. <laughs> you should be recording. We just saw a huge 360 right oh, there. Oh, Naima. That's the purple initiative. Big front side 360. That was maybe. Naima Antolin. Maybe warming up for a gap 270. You never know. I don't. We don't know. Only she knows. Here comes Ivica Jurgensen. <laughs> I'm so sorry for saying her name like that, but it's kind of fun. It's very fun. I love that. <laughs> and we have a lot of Europeans here, and their names are fun to say. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. The drip on that board slide. She is so steezy. That was Henna. I don't know how these girls are getting back up to the top so fast. <laughs> they must be sprinting up there. Ooh, Ellie Weiler does well not to uh, make that bail more dangerous than it needed to be. We saw a lot of crashes on that uh, ballpark feature yesterday. There's a lot of hard crashes. Um, 
but a lot of makes too. And one, one of, of the most notable ones, Taylor Elliott, hand plant of the day and direct. Right up at the top of that thing, and uh, a lot of riders were going for it, but Taylor Elliott just, it was amazing. It was groundbreaking. It was, and we were talking about this earlier. I don't think we heard, oh, I don't think we heard louder cheers all day other than for Taylor Elliott. No, it was ex it was explosive, for lack of a better term. Yeah. I think we're going to hear um, the same level, the same magnitude of cheers as we have a great little crowd assembling. I don't know if we'll see an Andrecht as perfectly executed, but I think we will hear some cheers. Front board pretzel. That was Jalen Hansen. She got fifth at the 2023 Uninvited Invitational last year at Boreal. So she's got what it takes. I think she's well. hungry for a piece of this prize purse again this year at the 2024 Uninvited Invitational. I mean, if she does get fifth, if she repeats in that fifth place position, she's walking away with three grand. If you're just joining us, this is the Uninvited Invitational 2 Finals. That two days of competition, 75 riders knocked down to 35, and you're watching this 35 compete for a $56,000 prize purse. 35 of the best street snowboarders in the world. We've got girls from Europe, Japan, Canada, America, all over. It's an international field. 20 different there. countries represented. So exciting. There we go. That transfer was opened up yesterday. We didn't see any any of the girls doing that one on day one. I believe Naima opened that one up. Beautiful gap board slide right there. Man, that that down slide. flat, that down flat down is um, well, it's getting destroyed for lack of a better term. That seems to be one of the favorite features. And I think it's of course. I think it's one of the toughest ones. So when I look at this uh, this prizing breakdown, yeah, we have great prizes for first to five, but we also you know we have one to watch. We have most creative. We have best trick, fifteen hundred dollars going. Nora, to Aldo. with the two, gap to two seventy. She's looking for that. No, she's looking for that best trick. And I think the best trick will probably go down on the down flat down. Maybe one of the wall rides. Could be one of the wall rides. Or this Could right be... here. Could be Ben Belox. Baby right there, that softball chain link fence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We have three hours to find out. That's true. That's true. Craig, you asked me earlier what I would do on this course, and I am curious to know what you would do. You're familiar with the streets. You like to dabble in the street riding. What do you think of this setup? What would you do out there? What's your favorite feature? Um, Luna, just that, that shifty right there. I love the hip feature. I love how they've uh, incorporated the, the the group here at Woodward Park City and Ben Block and Eskimer have incorporated the rails, right? There's a lot of, you know, filming riders here that maybe don't compete. They've spent a lot of time in the streets. so. You can really stand out there, or you can go big off the quarter pipe features. There's hand plant features. Uh, I think it's a great mirror of what Jess Kamura has done in her snowboarding career, right? She's great in the backcountry. Exactly. She's got incredible hand plants. She's done amazing stuff in the streets. So I kind of think what she has done, she brought to this course, um, and her fingerprints are all over it. And I don't think that's by coincidence. I think there's some intention there. <laughs> by design. you got to be able to ride everything, uh, just like Ari Monroe. Or more on, or <laughs> I, I have Marone. Marone. I have struggled with her last name all week, folks. I don't know if I said it properly either. It's hard. We're having fun. It's a lot of names. It's 35 riders, and they're hitting this course at a fast they're, they're pace. Fast and furious. It's a 100 meter sprint right here. And I don't think they're going to slow down. So we need to keep up. Brantley Mullins, pardon me, with the front side board slide on the down bar. Antolin 
Oh, I like that. That's creative. And that's the thing about this course is there's a lot of room for creativity. Like I said, there's something for everyone, every type of rider. Whether you're more of a down bar kind of rider or whether you like the hips like Katie Kennedy. I think Katie Kennedy is really going to stand out on these hip and quarter pipe features. As I mentioned yesterday, she was kind of doing that Michael Chuck, if you will. Yeah, I think the hips are where we're going to see her shine. I've spent a, a bit of time this winter with Katie Kennedy, and she has been going big. She has been. <laughs> she really has been, and she will today. And that was Egan Wint. Egan uh, recently placed third at the X Games Knuckle Huck. So she's no stranger to competition. Egan is no stranger to competition. She has been in the contest field for a couple years now. Hey, oh, gap back lip on the the concrete looking feature. Yes, it does look like concrete, but Ben Balak assured me it is not. It is sliding very, very well. Gap back lip right there. Ivica Jurgensen with that no slide through the down flat down. Ivica, uninvited films alumni. Oh! There's a contender for bail award. Alyssa Brecourt, I went up the lift with her yesterday. She was an alternate and wasn't actually in the top 35, but Emma Crosby unfortunately had to bow out due to an injury from yesterday. So Alyssa Brecourt uh, getting the chance, getting the opportunity. We are sad to be missing out on Emma competing today, but excited to see what Alyssa is going to bring to the course. Um, Alyssa told me that she recently picked up snowboarding. It's only been since 2018, 2019 that she's been on a board. Could have fooled so me. Imagine just picking up snowboarding in that recent of years and being top 36 in top a field 36. of 75. Nice quick math there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Whoa. Five plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie oh, Weiler! Ellie. I do not think that you can commit harder than she just did. You know, I don't look like she was going for a front blunt same way on that wall ride feature, Dara. And um, oh. we're up back. there we go. All right, well, now I have my best trick right so far. It's early in this event, but I think that, that 270 was probably up there for best trick right now. Yeah, that was big, committed, executed well, stylish. I think that's exactly what the judges are looking for. Yeah, we're talking to Katie Cook. Um, and let's run through our judges panel as well. That's a great idea, Craig. We have some amazing judges up there. Uh, we have Jill Perkins. Um, I mean, everyone knows Jill. She's put out some standout video parts. She's been nominated Rider of the Year. I don't know how many years in a row. She's up there judging today. We have Marie Francois. She is one of my favorite snowboarders for, I don't know how many years, the last 10, 15 years. She has had amazing parts in the Rome videos. Um, who else is judging, Craig? Uh, Melissa Rotano, um, I think, is also up there as well. So we have a very um, accomplished panel of judges, as we mentioned off the top, our head judge, Kate Cook. Uh, one of only three women that can judge at the Olympic level. So we're legit. Yeah. Folks, we're legit. I, I trust these judges' calls. They know what they're talking about. They know what they're looking for. You were also helping judge on day one of the qualifier as well, correct? I was, and it was a tough job. It's hard. It's hard. The riding level is high. <laughs> and it's a, it's a long, I love this long jam session. It makes it very difficult for the judges because you're watching so many tricks. Yeah. But the riders have time to warm up, you know, to select the features they kind of want to hit and then also work up to some features that maybe aren't their favorite, but they want to ride eventually. I think that that long jam session um, harbors creativity. We also forgot uh, Yilfa. Runerstotter. That's another of our European uh, uninvited film alumni. She's judging up there. She actually had Ender in the uninvited two and three. Not once, but twice. She's she ends two off the. Enders. <laughs> that is a rare feat. It's, you don't see that very often. One rider getting Ender in two of the same project. 
year after year, if you're just new to snowboarding, the reason that matters so much is usually in a video, the ending part, maybe the most difficult, maybe some of the gnarliest tricks. Um, so congrats to Yilfa and uh, well-deserved to be judging here at the second annual Uninvited Invitational. From Woodward Park City, my name is Craig McMorris. We're in the booth alongside, well, one of the stars of the Invited Films and one of the competitors from last year's Uninvited Invitational at Woodward at Boreal, Dara Reed McLean. A couple Canucks in the booth, Dara. You having fun so far? Thanks, Craig. I'm having so much fun. This is, I'm watching some great snowboarding, chatting with you here at Woodward Park City. It's a beautiful day. It is gorgeous. Perfect weather. A little, it's, it's warm. And these girls are hiking fast. Absolutely. Brantley Mullins with a gap board slide to uh, tail grab there on the hip. Honestly, I've lost count of how many runs they've done already. Okay, we're looking for a back lip right there on the down bar. We've seen... You know, a couple back lips. We saw a gap to back lip as well. Back lip is a hard trick to do well. It is. And it we've really seen a few is. nice ones the last two days. Yes, we and have. And we're going to see more. There's one right there. <laughs> Speaking of, it's like Ari heard us right <laughs> what there. What do you know? Thank you, Ari. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing more scary than coming in on your heel side and going backwards down a rail or concrete or not concrete, whatever that material is. Whatever it is, snow wood, concrete. The reason I think it's so difficult is if you're new to snowboarding, the back lip is you gotta come at the rail, go up and over the rail and get your tail over. A lot of clippage. You can hit the rail before you get up and over it. It's very difficult. There's room for error and uh, high consequence if, if that error occurs. The which is why we love to see the back lips so much. And the judges are going to love to see it. They want to see you do something very difficult, oh, like that like backside that. 180. Okay. Wasting no time. That was Livia Tano, second place European qualifier winner. I'd like to see her do that back lip, or sorry, that backside 180 on again. She, I would like her to clean it up a little bit, but it was pretty well done. As we mentioned, the judges, they're ruthless out here. Yeah, I'm no judge, but I think she could do it better. They want video part caliber tricks. They do. I heard them deliberating a little bit yesterday, and they are looking for that. You know, make it to the end, land. It's got to be clean. It's got to be such just like that. That was very well done. And that was Henna Ikola. Katie Kennedy almost looking like she was going 5-0. Great method right there. Okay, we got Kalia Opal. Again, we said it, we said it. The judges are gonna want her to clean that up a little bit, but it was nice. It was nice. It was front, a nice front board same. Yep. But the judges are gonna be looking for a little, she, they're gonna want her to refine it. Now that, that was a well done back three off. I don't know if she could do that any better. I know at home you're, pro that. you're probably crap clapping right now <laughs> for Mila Stalker and uh, rightfully so, that 50-50 backside 360 was very well done. And that was a nice gap to board slide from Ivica Jurgensen. Ivica is one of the best street riders in the world. She's put out some amazing video parts the last few years. She started off with the Uninvited Projects, but then she went on to produce her own video parts, um, Honey, Vitamin. I, she's won multiple awards for those parts over the years. And let's talk about that because I feel, you know, it's it's not great that, that so many nice that was amazing. <laughs> Holy smokes. Was that Grace Warner that I don't I don't think that Telma, was Telma I think that was that Telma, was Telma and that yeah. makes sense because she won the Euro European qualifier with a cap too. If at first you don't succeed you go back to the well. Ellie Weiler out of Colorado. She went down extremely hard on that front blunt. She looked like she was going for the same way there. She goes front blunt to fakie and then... Perseverance. That's what it takes out there. And yeah. you got to be unfazed by those crashes. You know, you just got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and try again. If you've watched snowboard contests before, usually it's best one of three runs, best one of two. Here is a three-hour jam session. So you could fall a lot, 
As long as you have those big makes, that's all that matters. Throw away the false. No one's going to remember the bales as long as you have the makes. Yeah. Except for uh, whoever wins the bail award. That one might be remembered. You should remember that one. If you do win the bail award, maybe a bruise, but you're also walking away with $1,500. Not bad. In U.S. dollars. Worth it. USD. I might go, go out there and just try and bail. Yeah. I could. <laughs> I could do that. First try. This is Egan Wint. No stranger to the contest scene. She's been doing the contest tour for the last couple of years. Absolutely. Iris Pham, I believe, 50-50, backside 360. That was actually Veda Halen. Oh, pardon me. She's from Tahoe. Recently placed third at the Dew Tour Street Style. Oh! Yeah. I think that, that contest would be a great, you know, example of what this is as well. And I can understand Multiple why features. you confused her with Iris, because Iris was also at the Dew Tour Street Jam. It's a simple mistake. Yeah. These girls all know each other from the, from the circuit. <laughs> You were saying this, I think it was really interesting when you um, were a little bit younger, you would have loved to have more of those do tour rail jams, those X Games knuckle hucks, those X Games rail jams. But you also would have had to be <laughs> I would have had to have been done no slide pretzels like Annika. <laughs> I was saying that, that earlier and uh, I'm gonna deflect and get back to the riders on course here because enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I would have loved to have had a contest like this in my youth. I think this is a great platform to showcase these girls' skills and just how far women's snowboarding has come and not to get too cheesy. But I will because it's close to my heart. Like we, These girls have the skill and the talent and they just need... The stage. They just need the stage. And here it is. And Jess Kamira has provided. Like She's done time and time again. She's done it for me. She's done it for countless other riders. And what I love about the way that Jessica has approached this is she did three years of videos, right? She did. She gave riders the chance to get in front of the camera and, you know, get their names out there. But you can only have so many people in the video, right? So she's done that for three years. Then she said, how can I bring more riders in? How can I get more names in front of the snowboarding industry? And, and how can and I event? get more money in their pockets? 100%. So that next year they can go on to film those video parts that they want to film absolutely i mean a perfect example last year's first place winner lolo she went home with a big check she's been filming all winter i don't think just off of just off the check yeah <laughs> i think she actually had some pretty good contracts lined up after that big win because like i said it's a platform to showcase their skills team managers see it they want to sign those contracts <laughs> absolutely hey oh oh my Goodness, that Naima, was a frontside invert. She's gonna get that. She did that yesterday. It was one of the, one of the standout moments from the day. One of my favorite moments from the day. I love to see a good frontside invert. I don't know if it was one of Subaru's standouts, but it was one of my personal standouts. That was one of Dara Reed McLean's standouts. I love of a frontside invert. What were the Subaru standouts from day two, Craig? Uh, from day two, well, there was four riders that each walked away with five. Hundred dollars. My favorite on there, Taylor Elliott. We talked about her Andorek right at the top. Um, oh, and in fact, Naima a Subaru did agree with me. She was, she was one of the day yeah, two standouts. Yeah. Subaru gave her a, a nice little check to start the day off with. Yeah, that's what I love about you and Subaru. Very aligned on. I do drive a Forester. <laughs> I do. And I trail my. Yeah, I always see you in the sled behind it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been getting flack for that for years, but I love the Subaru. Very on brand for this event. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome, welcome. My name is Craig McMorris alongside Dara Reed yeah. McLean oh. at the Uninvited Invitational 2 here at Woodward Park City. Three hour jam session, 35 of the world's best women's snowboarders competing for a $56,000 prize purse in U.S. dollars, Dara. Uh, we've seen a lot of makes so far. We've seen a lot of makes. We've seen a couple crashes, nothing major. Um, but these girls are still just getting warmed up. And we've already seen some hammer tricks. I mean, we're 30 minutes in thus far, and um, we have seen... Cap 270, back 270 back lip pretzel we've seen all sorts of crazy tricks already only 30 minutes in to the 2024 uninvited invitational at woodward park city i'm blown away 
Katie Kennedy okay. looking for that 5-0, I think. She wants that press, I think. But she's going to really shine on these hip features. That was a that was a big air. I think that was the biggest method we have seen here today. I'd like to see a little more of a poke from her. You would, hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I want from a method. And I know she'll she's not going to be happy with that. She'll probably do another one. There, there it is. Go. She cleaned that up. We wanted that. We knew the judges wanted that. And uh, that was a nice back 180 on. Leva! That was one of my favorite rail tricks I've seen thus far. Yes, we've seen some big gap 270s. That's a really technical trick. I mean, Very you have to ride the rail switch. It's not It's not so much the 180 on. It's the riding the rail switch. Really? For you? I find... I'm going to go ahead and completely disagree with you. Yeah. Well, I, I think the switch 50-50 is chill. It's that backside 180 on and not, you know, not going over. And what I love about the way that Libba did that is she didn't do that front board and then swivel no, onto it. That was, a that was a clean, proper. full 180 degree spin onto the rail. But I, I'm i going to self-proclaim myself a back 180 on expert, and I think it's riding the rail switch that is the hard part. You are a backside 180 on expert. I've seen you do many on some very difficult features, so uh, I will defer to you. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Uh, I'm also going to say that 270 right there was a thing of beauty. Okay, this is Elena Greglia. She's originally from Italy, currently living in Calgary. Rides for the Source Snowboard Shop in Calgary there. Oh! Contender. Bail contender. I think she's okay. She's up. That one got me by surprise yeah, because it looked, she looked very much she in control. She didn't see that coming either, no. I don't think. You could tell from her reaction. That was an unexpected. That was an uninvited bail. <laughs> well, is any bail really invited? That's true. I mean, if you're trying to win the it's best bail award. It's only invited if you are looking for that $1,500 oh. check. That was clean, Egan. Egan with the board slide through the down flat down. You notice that speaker hanging off. A music is a big part of her riding. Oh, so. and she's hyped on that run. She, she did a little. Yeah. There was a little bit of a cheer there. Yeah, a little bit of a cheer. <laughs> but that was a good run. And Egan's, I mean, Egan's one of the only riders that I've seen nicely put together the rail features and the hip feature. Like Which I... Kind I, of a double threat. 100%. I think we have to talk about that for our judging panel is, yes, you want to do really difficult tricks, but if you can link two difficult tricks, right? If you can do something really big on those rail features and then something creative and big on this hip and quarter pipe feature, I think that's going to score a little bit higher. I think you're going to be in... Uh, in the conversation a little bit more. That's what the judges want to see. We want to see some diversity in the riding. That is a switch front board from Eureka Takazawa. Wow. Yeah, switch front board on that wall. I mean, I, I'd like her to try that again, but that is a really technical trick to try on that feature. Hey yo, front board pretzel. Celine Lakatha. Very well done, front board pretzel. And Love a good pretzel. They're hard to do correctly. They're hard to do well. They are. Such an unnatural way of doing a 270 outside, out of a rail. Um, that is Sophia Skrull, and I believe, yep, she was one of yesterday's day two standouts. One of those Subaru standouts. Ellie. Ellie Weiler trying she to be. She wants that 270 out. She might be a little tired from the last two days. I think she had. It's been a big week of snowboarding here for these athletes. She's had some of the most, like she's had, the, I think, the most amount of runs. I don't know how she gets yeah. up there so fast. She has a lot of perseverance. She, I think Ellie really knows what it takes to uh, do well in this contest and also to film a video part. It's about not giving up. It's about really going for it. And it's about never stopping until you get the trick. Speaking of which, uh, shout out to the North Face, our presenting sponsor of the Uninvited Invitational. Naima, that was a clean half cab on. Does she go for that front side invert again? She does. She gets it. She's not happy with that. You can tell from the look on her face. She no, it was, she was she's not, probably going to want There was that. no cheering after that. <laughs> she's frustrated. Uh. <laughs> uh, Naima is uh, local to Salt Lake City. She lives here originally from Seattle. Uh, she's an Uninvited Films alumni as well. And she last year produced her first film called Where's Walla Beluga? 
She's well known for her creative writing, and the film was one of my favorites to watch last year. Really? Yeah, you should check it out. I will, absolutely. Very creative. Yep. I love a self-produced film. She's got a fascinating mind. <laughs> I mean that in the best way. <laughs> That's a compliment. That's a compliment. She's one of my most interesting friends. <laughs> Grace Warner, gap front board on the down flat down out of Michigan. Nice backside air right there. Oh, that was Iris Pham. She wanted that three out. She'll get that. Gap lip side right there. From a cheetah out of the Netherlands. As we mentioned, you've, you've heard a lot of countries. There are 20 different countries represented in this final. So riders from all over the world. It is an international field. We have riders from Switzerland, from England, Australia, Japan, Canada, the Netherlands. Estonia, Australia. It's a... Oh, my was... goodness. The Collingwood shuffle <laughs> on that down flat down right there. I haven't heard it called that before, Craig. What, really? Where does that come from? The 50-50 to uh, lip slide? The Collingwood Shuffle. Yeah. So there's a number of snowboarders from Collingwood, Ontario, that would do that trick in contests. Okay. And then it uh, became the Collingwood Shuffle. I don't know I'm if everybody. I'm I didn't catch that reference being a fellow Canadian, but I didn't. It's okay. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh... <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll see another Collingwood shuffle, but what I'd prefer to see would be a nice, solid slide through the entire King Grail. Absolutely. We've seen a couple board slides. I'd love to see a front board, a back lip. That'd be exciting. I don't know if we'll see it today. I might throw my headset off. If somebody back lips through that down, flat down. So help me God. If someone could send a memo up to the girls that Craig wants to see a back lip through the down, flat down. Ayo, 50-50 backside three on the wall ride going down on, sorry, on that, yeah, that tall wall ride, Madison Blackley. <laughs> that was Kalia Opal looking good on Ben's favorite feature and mine. Absolutely. The batting cage. If you're just tuning in now, fun fact about Kalia, she's allergic to corn <laughs> and from Iowa. I think that we've got a lot of fun facts to share with you today, but I, I don't think anything makes Dara laugh as much as Kalia being allergic to corn. And as somebody with an, a nut allergy, it's no laughing matter, you know? I'm so sorry, Craig. I, I'm just I'm totally kidding. I forgot about your nut allergy, I'm and totally I seem to remember that you're a little sensitive. About it, so I'm going to stop making jokes well, about Well, I'm, I'm not sensitive. Well, the thing that's, sensitive the thing that's funny about Kalia's corn allergy is that she is from <laughs> Iowa, <laughs> where they distribute a lot of corn. One of their biggest exports. I don't, we don't distribute a lot of nuts in Canada. <laughs> uh, back to... <laughs> Back to the live feed. Leva going for that I'm front. Take my off. <laughs> Leva going for that front board, same way. Oh, we haven't seen much of that on the quarter pipe. No, let's get some. Let's get more of that. Alyssa Brecourt out of Colorado, 50-50 on the waterfall rail. Oh, it looked like she was going rock to regular, but goes rock to fakey. I don't think of her own choosing on the softball feature. That is Jubes Pelchat, Juliet Pelchat from Canada, Whistler. Last year, she won the One to Watch she award. Craig. And she's one to watch this year as well. 100%. I was talking to her before um, before the jam session kicked off. Um, I really enjoyed her 50-50 back three on that tall wall ride feature. She was saying she really wants to do maybe a 50-50 back five off of it. So we'll see if she brings that out a little later in the event. I would love to see that. Going for that switch front board pretzel, okay. I want to see her do that again. Absolutely, I think a little bit more um, Canadians per hour, kilometers per hour coming into that, and she has got it. Katie Kennedy right here. 
Ooh, nice. Creative use of space. That board slide pop in. We've seen a lot of riders, you know, ride that as a flat bar, but holy smokes. You can tell from Katie's approach to that feature that she has filmed street parts. 100%. And she has, uh, if you're familiar with 6040, Katie's video projects. Mila Stalker right there. Mila Stalker from Australia, mate. <laughs> Uh, this is Iris Pham. This is no longer Mila Stalker. Iris Pham is from the U.S. She actually lives in her van, Craig. She does. She does. Do you know what, uh, hopefully a Subaru? I hope it's a Subaru. I'm not exactly sure what the brand is, but I, why would you live in anything other than a Subaru? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I drive a Subaru. I love Subarus. That's why you're our in-boost Subaru standout. Hey! There we go. That could have been a Subaru standout moment and right there. it was there. yesterday, and it might be today. I think that is... She puts down that front side invert right at the top of that chain link softball feature. Nora Beck. Yeah, I want Naima to get that front side invert, and I know she will. She has the perseverance. She has what it takes. She's going to keep going for it until she gets it. Nora Beck. This is Sophia. Hey, oh, lip pretzel. We have not. Gap. There was a gap to lip pretzel, wasn't it? It was. It was a gap. It's unorthodox. Yeah, you don't see that too often. Thirty-five riders, three-hour jam session on this beautiful course, created by Ben Bullock, Jess Kamura and the entire team at Woodward Park City. Truly a thing of beauty. I know what you're thinking watching this out there. You're thinking, I wish I could ride that course. Because it is. It looks fun. It's Well, come on down to Woodward at Park City because there are so many very similar features. You might not be able to ride this exact course, but you can ride a lot of features very similar. It's a great park. They've got a mini pipe. They've got small jumps, medium jumps, large jumps, rail features for everyone. This is the best place on earth. Wow. I love it here. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to come here every year to train, to film for my video parts. That is Brantley Mullins. She is coming back from a knee injury. We were talking about injuries a little bit earlier uh, before we were on the air, Dara, and, and, you know, a lot of these riders, you know, coming back from injury, um, that is such like a mental battle as well as, you know, the rehab. Wow, that was very nice. As well as the rehab that you have to put in for your body, but your brain, right? There is that, that um, the, being the, confident in yourself again. The mental challenge coming back from an injury is by far much harder than the physical challenge. And... It's such a big part of it. I mean, all these girls will be, f have been familiar with coming back from an injury. Takes a lot of strength. Hey -o! Wow. Livia Tano. Oh, that was a great combo. Showing why she won the European qualifier into this event. She says, are you not entertained? I'm not a judge and I don't want to make any predictions, but that was a run that I would say scored high way up there yeah we she like hit that. she hit a big gnarly feature she did a technical trick we haven't seen anyone execute something like that on those wall ride features big, we've seen a lot of we've seen, seen a lot of 50 50 back three some 50 50 front threes but that front blunt same way from leva was executed brilliantly and the trick on the quarter pipe it's like the icing on the cake two tricks one run grace warner well executed nose press, which I think is kind of tough to do on that waterfall rail. I'd imagine. Bouncing around a little bit there. On that concrete, or not concrete, secret blend. It's the secret blend. Ben Block secret blend. <laughs> <laughs> that was Telma. Hey, oh, oh, that was. That's Pearl Mutter. That's our youngest competitor. She is only 14 years old. She has been. Unreal to watch riding the last couple of days. Only 14 years, 14 years old. Won the Bomb Hole Cup last weekend here in Salt Lake City. 
and not in the 14 and under category, in the open category. She is riding with momentum and uh, she's riding well beyond her years. And Craig, she is a wild card winner, so she wasn't necessarily on the radar. She wasn't even supposed to be here. She, she submitted a video and she was uh, chosen to be invited to the Uninvited Invitational 2024 at Woodward Park City. <laughs> and here she is, and she is putting on a show. She took a hard bail yesterday, and she's back up like a champion, like a full-grown adult snowboarder, but she's 14 years old. <laughs> but I think when you're 14, you can kind of, you bounce back you a bounce, little bit faster. Egan taking a lot of MPH, a lot of miles per hour into this feature frontside 360. Oh, okay. That's an alternate route. That is. That's oh, not on the GPS. Hit that. <laughs> it's a back road. I like where she's going with that. Yeah. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. <laughs> and that was a long journey in <laughs> to our bottom feature. <laughs> nice and direct That's there. Really nice. Madison Blackley, Park City local, born and raised. Switch board slide, very casual through that down flat down there for Madison Blackley. Madison is known for her switch riding, I would say. And she's been doing this for a long time. She's been filming video parts for about 15 years, so she is familiar with these types of features. That was Ivica Jurgensen. Ivica's gotten more runs, I think, than any. I don't know if she's sprinting up there. A true athlete. Maybe Stamina cross training. Is very impressive. Yeah. Audrey Doan out of California going down on the wall ride feature but she's got lots of time she's got lots of time a little fun fact about Audrey Doan she actually works in train parks she's worked in train parks in Utah California Australia so she has an intimate relationship with uh, setups like this she builds them helps too that was a nice 180 off from Kalia Leah's looking solid out there. Absolutely, that rock to fakie. Ellie Weiler. Hey, Ellie. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, that one was looking good. I thought she maybe had that one. But I love this. She is not backing down. She won't stop until she... She gets that front that board trip. same way. And once she does, we're going to see a lot more tricks from her. Probably a backflip on the hip. Ellie she, is a strong rider. She is a very strong rider. We saw her compete at uh, X Games Knuckle Huck. She uh, actually recently won first place at Jill's Roundup here at Woodwork Park City in the mini pipe. She's from Colorado. Really strong rider. Young, too. Yep. Excited to see what's in the future for her. Well, she's got in her near future, she's got 25 minutes left to attempt that. And then we're going to do a little bit of a rake break. And um, we'll get to see this Woodward Park City crew. And uh, alongside Ben Bullock, really do what they do best and manicure these features uh, to absolute perfection. I can't wait. It's kind of like a zen. It's a calming effect watching them rake the... <laughs> it's like a rock garden. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Thank you. Um, person in the background on the half pipe looks like they're having a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be riding that half pipe at Woodward Park City. It's Big fan perfect. of the 20, 22 foot pipes? <laughs> if there's one thing about me, it's that I love yeah. <laughs> One thing you gotta know about Dara. <laughs> you can't keep her out of the 22 foot pipe. What's going on, everybody? Uh, you're in our booth, Craig McMorris, alongside Dara Reed McLean, a couple Canucks. What are your highlights so far today? Oh man, there's been so many. We saw the cab 270 from Telma. We saw. Uh, did Nora do the back 270? Was it a cab? I'm getting all mixed up. There's been so many good tricks already. Just in the first, it hasn't even been an hour. They're wasting no time out there. They're going for it today here at Woodward Park they City, really the Uninvited Invitational too from the mind of Jess Kimura. We'll get to her in a little bit, but she's done so much for women's snowboarding and created an incredible event here that we get to watch. A 
Shout out to all the sponsors for putting this on. The North Face, Monster Energy, Yeti, Woodward, Park City, Subaru, Union Bindings, Capita, Skull Candy, Bald Face, Nidecker, Snowboards, Cole Slush, The Magazine, and DieCutStickers.com. All contributing to this $56,000 prize purse. Someone today is walking away with a check that says $13,000. And those are USDs. We cannot stress that enough, folks. That's a lot of money back where we're from. Yep. Good chunk of change. Could do a lot with that. Fifty fifty front side three sixty. Big old front side air. And in the t shirt as well. Mad respect. This is Jubes Pelchet speaking of Canada. Fifty fifty front side one eighty. Not quite what she was looking for right there, so she's gonna hike back up. That is Haruna Luna, one of the wild card winners. One of our competitors from Japan. That was very, very sick. We were talking about back lips all morning. And we are talking about front side inverts. Oh, oh no. That, we, I, I held my breath. We've been robbed. I, I don't know what happened there. I'm just sitting here praying we get to see another front side invert invert before the the rake session here because that will be an absolute hammer I'm hoping for the back lip Craig that's what I want to see next I think that could be one of our best combos Back lip to front side invert on the cage. I would love to see that. Switch front board pop in right That's there. That's Eureka. She wants that switch front board, and I want that for her. I think we all want that. You know, Eureka, Eureka, her friends actually fundraised for her to make it here to Woodward Park City. They came together on the internet and supported her. Jess, our youngest competitor. This girl is blowing me away. She's 14 she years is old. Such a strong snowboarder. Yeah. <laughs> like, what were you doing when you were 14, Craig? I can't say on air. Um, <laughs> but what was crazy about this is that she doesn't have little kid style, and I not and I use all. that term like it's it's endearing. Like when you're a young kid, you're you're not, you maybe don't have the best style because you're learning all the tricks. You're Jess, Jess, yeah, exactly. Jess looks incredible out there. I would never guess that she was 14. No watching her snowboard. I didn't know what a front board pretzel was when I was 14. I didn't know what snowboarding was when I was 14. It's amazing to see how far we've come. Salute. There are new generations of snowboarders coming into the scene. That switchboard slide by Madison Blackley is a thing to behold. She's so casual. Such a difficult way to approach that down flat down Katie Kennedy warming up that left side of the hip that's kind of where she did I was saying I was saying Michael Chuck it's not a Michael Chuck more of a straight backflip Egan went here Egan going that alternate route the 360 she gets it I think she wants that grab I think she wants more of a handful of her board but we'll see it again one of the first riders we've seen take that you know spine transfer and spin over it and as well and the judges are going to score for creativity backflip pretzel from Celine Lakata, she's from Austria. Backlip pretzel is a hard trick. It's extremely difficult. Not too many people do that one. Very, very few riders. You no, know, you're so locked in backlip, and then you have to turn your body pretzel out. I can't imagine. Brantley Mullins front board down the waterfall waterfall rail. She looks comfortable in her t-shirt and visor. I was gonna say, I love it's the visor. Out there and I love the visor. Looks like she's thriving. You gotta watch out for a snow burn though in a t-shirt. Ellie! You could not get any closer than that. Oh, she... <sighs> she's getting there, she's gotta get it. She's gotta get it. She knows she's gonna put it down. She 
you know what snacks they have in the North Face tent up there? I know they've got a spread of healthy snacks, vegetables, fruit. Uh, I've, I saw some pretzels. Well, we've seen some pretzels yeah. here today. We saw a backlit pretzel. We did. Moments ago. <laughs> North Face is the presenting sponsor for the 2024 Uninvited Invitational. And what an event they have put on. I mean, this has been fantastic. Two days of qualification here on our third and final day. It's a lot of snowboarding. It is. And a lot of building and production time. Like, this is a huge event. And what I think is so admirable about Jessica Murrow, who puts this on, is in her at our commentator meeting this morning, she rocks up. And she's a little out of breath. We're like, Jess, are you okay? And she's like, I was just operating a chainsaw up there. She I mean, she does it all. She is a woman of many talents. I mean, I could go on for this entire live feed about all of the great things Jess has brought into my life. <laughs> <laughs> she is a producer. She's a snowboarder. She's a filmer. She's a photographer. She is a marketing genius. She dirt bikes. She snowmobiles. She mountain bikes. She skateboards. She's one of the greatest snowboarders to have ever done it. Her video parts still. Uh, I, I mean, they inspire younger riders like Grace Warner right there, that front board on the uh, big wall ride feature. We talk strategy off the top here, Dara, and I think a lot of the riders had a really good strategy. As the day goes on, it's gonna get a little bit slower. So those gap tricks, uh, they're gonna get tougher. Right, now that you mention it, that explains why they went straight to the gap tricks right off the bat. They did not waste any time, but you're right. As the day goes on, the course is going to get a little slower. It's just natural. The sun's going to hit the snow. <laughs> it's going to get a little slushy out there. Science. Yep. So we might see more technical tricks later on in the day, whereas we saw a lot of the big gap tricks earlier. That was a pretty technical front board. Nora Beck here. Back blunt 270. Wow. Nora Beck, I think, I mean, she's like one of the more, one of the most stylish riders on the course today and in general. She looks good on a snowboard. Backs. We were talking about injuries earlier. Nora is coming back from a major injury. She had a, uh, a T12, a shattered T12. That's a major injury to come back from and then be chucking back 270s on too. A down rail. That's just above your T11. Just above the T11, right under the T10. Yep. Just in between the two. <laughs> Dara, when you look at this course, you know, you've got the wall rides. Oh, there's our first alternate, Alyssa Brecourt, in for Emma Crosby, who unfortunately couldn't come out today. Oh. What a handstand! That's just a straight up handstand, folks. That was <laughs> That's what that is. That was a nice handstand. It was that a good takes handstand. a lot of upper body strength. I know, Dara, you do a lot of yoga. You have a great handstand. So you you know what that takes. Uh, that would be a hard thing to do with the snowboard attached to your feet, extra weight upside down. She's riding that Nidecker Sensor Pro, very light. You know, Polaroid gave away a few um, cameras earlier in the week, and there was a handstand contest to determine who would take home those Polaroid cameras. A lot of the girls out here have strong handstands. Really? Yeah. They cross train. They must. Snowboarding, cross-training, includes handstands. Ivica Jurgensen going down on that uh, board slide pop-in. You know where she didn't go down? In her video parts, honey, vitamin, uninvited. Check those out. I really, really that. enjoyed Honey. An amazing snowboarder. Yeah. And she works so hard to film those parts. They've won awards. Ivica out of Estonia. Currently residing in Finland, Ruka. Come on, Ellie Weiler. Oh, and that was just, she just, she was robbed. Now I think she's doing it on purpose. <laughs> Because she's raising her blood pressure every yeah. time she drops in. From Jess to Goat. And she said that there's 20 more minutes of competition until they rank. Because these 
Riders are bloodthirsty. And they want to win. I got a hypothetical or question for you here, Dara. I can't wait to hopefully <laughs> have an answer for you, Craig. Beautiful stall up there on that softball feature. Mm -hmm. You look at this course, maybe somebody who isn't here you think would destroy this course, or maybe a former uh, pro snowboarder that maybe if it was, you know, a couple years ago would, would destroy this course. Really good question, Craig. I mean, I'd love to see any of our judges ride this course. Jill Perkins, Marie France, um, Ilva, Ilva. I would love to see what she would have to say here at Woodward Park City. Um, but unfortunately, they're not riding today, or not unfortunately, because we needed we need judges. judges, and they're doing an amazing job. 50-50. She stomped that. Jubes stomped that 180 off. Jubes Pelchat. 50-50 backside 180. Annika Morgan outside of Germany. Annika, no stranger to the con. Do you think she was more stressed out at the Olympics or here at the Uninvited Invitational? What do you think made her more nervous? Probably here. I think so, too. Stakes are high. Stakes are high. Big cash perfs, $56,000 going out today, and just the amount of talent. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what the Olympics are like, but I imagine this is pretty high stress. <laughs> Whoa, Axel Stahl, 270 out. That was Celia That was nice. That was very sick. She is a rider from Switzerland. Who rides at Locks? Fifteen more minutes till our first rake break. That's where we're Board Park City staff and uh, the uninvited staff come out, manicure these lips, these takeoffs. The girls might drink some water. That was really stylish. That Hannah. was. Oh, she just sat down for a minute. Audrey, don't. She's back up. <laughs> just taking a break. Yeah, I, I'd be tired. You know, they're going to rake in a few minutes. They're going to clean up this course, and I bet the girls will drink some water. Jalen Hansen with that switch 50-50 on the wall ride feature. Brantley Mullins, that was a really nice front board. I appreciate a nice front board. It's not about just doing the wildest trick. It's about doing the tricks you are doing very, very well. I mean, sometimes I would like to see, I would rather see a simple trick done really well than a wild technical trick done wildly. <laughs> it's your classic less is more. Exactly. Katie Kennedy right here. Ooh, switch backside air right there. Not very easy, but there, there's a good point here. Yes, this is a competition. Yes, there is a lot on the line, but bringing together so many snowboarders, you're gonna meet people, you're gonna meet videographers, photographers, other riders. I mean, there's so many connections from these events that have gone on to make amazing videos, correct? Sure, and we were talking about this earlier. I mean, this list of 35 girls, a lot of them we know, but a lot of them are younger and we're not so familiar with. and. They may be meeting photographers, filmers for the first time, creating connections that will lead to them filming their first video part and eventually creating a career in snowboarding, which is what most of them dream of. And that's the whole point. That's Jess's whole mission here. Create connections, make opportunities, launch snowboard careers. Exactly. And Jess has done that many times. Jess Kamira has launched multiple snowboard careers. Alyssa Brecourt, 50-50, frontside 180, on the wall right, layback maybe for style, but it is a big drop off there, a lot of impact. That is a big drop. How many feet do you think that drop is? 
I mean, I'm in meters, right? We're in the metric system. So. Oh, yeah. Just I kidding. <laughs> get confused. <laughs> This is Juna Asaya, one of the wild card winners. Okay, Ellie. She's determined. <gasps> yes, no. I that I don't know. I don't know what happened. I mean, a gust of wind or something knocked her over because I mean, that was done brilliantly. It was perfect. All I can say is her legs might be getting tired. Like th this has been a long couple of days. We had two days of qualifiers, finals now. This is where I kind of, I, I really love this part of a jam session though, is you, you, all the riders have been hitting the features. You kind of know who is doing what, getting into a couple battles. I love a good battle. Switch 50-50 from Grace Warner. Very technical on that waterfall feature. Really well done. Honestly, wouldn't have known it was switch had you not told me just now. Board slide pretzel, Egan went, let's go. See, I think Egan's been holding out on us and I think it's her strategy. She knows that this is a marathon. I think we're gonna see some I think there's a lot more to see. One step at a time for Egan Wynn as she puts together her finals day here at the Uninvited Invitational 2. You can see them all up there. They're being, you know, they're respectful, they're taking turns, but they're hungry. They're hungry. They're like, it's your turn, but you better go now or I'm getting in there. Ari with that board slide, or sorry, that 50-50 front side 180. Those wall rides are getting a lot of play. As is that kink rail. Yep. Well, these riders know if you want to be in the money, if you want to be noticed, you got to hit the hardest features out there. You got to mix it up. You got to hit all the features, really. That's what the judges want to see a Back. variety, a variety of tricks executed well and with style. That's what the judges are looking for. Sophia Scroll out of Austria. She was kind of hunting for that, that lip slide pretzel, but gapping. Such an unusual trick. It is very difficult. You see that. You know, maybe on a down bar. That See it a lot up. on rainbow rails, but not on that, that gap down, flat down. Pre I mean, pretzeling out of a gap. It's just, it's a lot of... It's a high consequence. a lot of force to then turn your body <laughs> in the opposite direction. It's, it's a tough one. And there was a nice pretzel from Jubes Pelchet. That was really, really nice. As we mentioned, 2023, she won the One to Watch Award. She's been one to watch the last few days, too, and today. She's a strong rider. Madison Blackley, uninvited alumni. Been filming video parts for longer than Jess Perlmutter has been alive. <laughs> it's another fun fact. <laughs> We got the corn and we got that. <laughs> but Ma <laughs> Madison, I mean, Madison, she's a real ATV. Street rider, powder rider. She actually won Queen of Corbett's. No way, Madison really? Won. Yeah. Holy smokes, I did not know that. Yeah. See, it was a fun fact. It was a fun fact. I was getting somewhere with I know. <laughs> I wasn't saying you were. <laughs> Mila Stalker out of Australia, who you just saw. Switch backside 50-50 there. Really hard trick. This is Momo, one of our riders from Japan and a wild card winner. She is currently living in Whistler where both you and I live, Craig. She works at Sushi Village. You may have seen her. I have. While drinking a sake margarita or two. Who's to say? Who's to say? Well, I, I really like that attempt. She was going for a switch front board, almost looking like she was going to pretzel out of it, so... Wait to see if she I'd brings like that back. That. And you know, a lot of these girls, 
they're riding the mountain all day and they're working their job hey at night. And that is something that Jess, is rec Jess recognizes and that's why she wanted to create an event like this that puts money in the riders' pockets so that they can focus on their snowboarding. It's really special. It is, it really, really is. Ellie Weiler here. Oh. I'm invested in I, that front yeah. board same way. I, I am want, sorry. I want it so bad for yeah. her. And she did it. She did it day one. She was one of the Subaru standouts day one for... So she, it's in her. She's got it. We know she's got that. We know she actually has a check for $500 as Subaru standout. All of our standouts, four from day one, four from day two, walked away with checks for $500 each. USD. Important to reiterate. <laughs> We cannot stress that enough. <laughs> if you've been watching for this entire broadcast, switch lips same way. Wow, Telma. She wanted that front blunt 270. It looked like. That was steezy, Juna. Asaya. That was a solid run. That was a very solid run, Juna Asaya. Katie Kennedy. Here's this. Oh, I think she's she's getting ready. You know, she's warming Katie up for that backflip. Katie Kennedy is not airing big and flipping out of hips. She's actually the digital marketing manager at Slush Magazine. You have seen her work. If you have been on your telephone and you've seen anything yeah. from Slush Magazine, you have seen her work. Probably seen her work. <laughs> Alyssa Brecourt, 50-50 backside, 360 out of the wall ride feature. This is Ella Sorensen. Dara, you competed in this event when it was held last year. How would you compare the two courses? Great question, Craig. Um, you know, they're both well-built courses by Ben Block. Uh, I think we just saw the switch front board pretzel go down, did we? I think we did. It was tough from our angle. It looked maybe a little a bit cheap. I hear a lot of cheering. There is a lot of cheering. One thing we didn't see on last year's course was a switch front board pretzel. So excited to see that this year. And maybe we did see it last year. I don't remember. <laughs> you were riding in it. So I was busy. You can't do it all. Yeah. But I try to. <laughs> but yeah, Woodward Park City has provided really the perfect place for this perfect venue for this type of a course. And their team has been supporting Ben Bullock to make features like the batting cage which I'm excited to hit tomorrow on the open day. Oh, that's going to be a blast, yeah. Be a blast. I hope to see you out there. Ooh, Egan went. New little line, a little early out of the waterfall feature. Egan placed fourth last year at the Uninvited Invitational. Uh, maybe third. I might have my numbers wrong. She did place first at Red Bull Heavy Metal. She did place first at Red Bull Heavy Metal, yep. Uninvited Invitational 2023, I think I want to she say was she third. was third. She yeah. was third. I can't confirm. And she had a really nice frontside invert on that uh, dumpster feature yes. last year. Yep. So that's one of the differences. There was a dumpster feature last year. This year there's a batting cage. I, I like the batting cage this year. I like that too. Yeah. Made special for this event. It's, it was an exciting little surprise. <laughs> You always know you're going to get something good when Ben Block is involved. Yeah. Ellie Weiler. Oh. Taking out some signage. She just, she just, she just does not have any quit. She doesn't. But I think maybe right after the rake, that's what, that's going to be her time to show. Maybe a rake, maybe some water. Hit the North Face tent. Have a pretzel. It's a have a pretzel, do a pretzel situation. Exactly. Except in her case, it's the same way. But it's the same way. You know. You get the idea. 
the murder one is out on the bottle there. Madison Blackley dropping in switch for the half cab 180 off. Hunting for that Anderek there on the quarter pipe feature. I, I bet when they do this rake, they're going to salt things. Things are going to be moving a little quicker. She's going to have the speed to get to the top of that quarter pipe. I have no idea who's in the lead right now. I can't imagine being a judge of this event. What do you think, Craig? I, I completely agree with you. But strategy comes into play. We've seen, you know, we've seen from riders like Egan Wint, they're, they're building, right? It's a three-hour jam session. Don't do everything right off the top. Hit all the features, do the technical tricks. It's a marathon. Complete body of work. Ooh, possible back lip attempt. Saves it for the back 50. She was thinking about it, and she might try it again next lap. Nice nose press on the wall ride there. Over the uninvited okay. invitational sign, and that quarter pipe comes up a little uninvited right there. I see what you did there. That was a good one. <laughs> you can see the crowd on the side with their signs. Everyone is excited to be here at Woodward Park City. <laughs> We actually have uh, Stan from Slush Magazine just checking in. He's He's got his whole chest painted. He looks like he's um, Katie Kennedy's number one fan, cat dog. I wish I wish you could see him on the live feed, but. <laughs> Stan looks good though. Oh, Jess. Whoa. That was, Telma, that was a switch lip same way? That was? I, that was I think it was. I was, um. You were busy. I was caught I, by Stan, honestly. I was paying honestly. attention. Yeah. Um, yeah, I stopped thinking about Stan's chest, and I started <laughs> watching. Elisa Brecourt, backside 270 attempt. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that got me all fired that up. That was unexpected, but yeah. I want to go back to that switch lip 270. That was exciting. That From was Telma. really nice. Uh, you mentioned who do you think is in the... I think Delma could be in the conversation. Ooh, backlit pretzel. Backlit? I think it was a front board, front board? pretzel. Front I'm front so board? sorry. We need a replay. We need an instant replay. <laughs> it's hard to... There's a lot going on. There's a lot going it's on the here. last few minutes before the break, and these girls... They're just trying to get it all in. That was a switch 50-50. No. Nope. Hey, Jubes. You know her family's watching back in Whistler. Ellie Weiler. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Yes! yes! Buzzer beater, Ellie. Holy smokes. We are, I'm, that's it. We, we laughed. We got a break. We laughed, we I'm, cried. That was a journey. That was a journey. Peaks and valleys, a lot of valleys and one great big peak. They say it's not about the destination, but for Ellie Weiler and that front board, same way, it was about the I destination. I said that earlier, and I take it back. That was about, <laughs> that was about the destination. That was just about the landing, yeah. I am so happy for her. I know exactly how she feels. She's relieved, she's excited, she's, pr like, it's, I could cry. I'm, I'm feeling emotional. Get the tissues, folks. <sighs> Ellie, that was so exciting. I think we should have gone straight to the ring for that. Grace Warner here. Gap frontside 180. You don't really see that as a gap trick. Gap frontside 180, not at all. No. That's going back to the riding the rail switch. That sounds hard. <laughs> that sounds, it is hard. Egan Wind here. Especially at a high speed from a gap. Oh, Egan Wind Egan. frontside invert way from the top I, rope. I knew she was saving that. I knew it. She's heating up.
our last couple runs here before the rake break at the second annual uninvited invitational presented by the North Face. Switchboard slide 270 right there on the waterfall rail. She came off a little early. I think the judges are going to note that, but. Ooh, board slide pretzel. Again, coming off a little early, and I know the judges are not going to let that slide. They're looking for video part worthy execution. Hey, oh! Just like that. Cab 270 on the down bar. And Henna is not a stranger to filming a video part, so she knows what it takes. Switch back 50 from Selena right there. Really hard trick. For Selena, sorry. This is Celia Petrick, 360 off. She's from Switzerland. Have you ever been to Switzerland, Craig? I have. I actually just got back from Switzerland. No Beautiful way. country, yeah. Were you in locks? I was in Geneva and Crans, Montana. And now you're here at Woodward Park City. Here at Woodward Park City for the second annual. My favorite place on earth. <laughs> oh. Sophia does well to save it right there. Save that one for the next hit. Ben's, Ben's like, all right, enough. I'm raking. Did you see? He didn't even waste a moment. No, not a second. She, <laughs> was wasted. He is so focused. There's one thing I know. The sun's going to come up tomorrow, and you don't get in Ben's way when he has a rake. <laughs> you know, I've spent a lot of time with Ben, and I've watched, <laughs> I've watched him rake a lot of things, and you're right. You do not get in Ben's way when he's holding a rake. You don't get in his way. <laughs> you has, don't get in his way. He has a system. You let him do it. And you know who else you don't get in their way? Jess Kimura. We take our hats off to Jess Kimura because she has done amazing things for women's snowboarding. You've seen it on display here. Um, Dara, you've personally had... benefited from it. Yeah, can I mean, you talk to us about that? Everything Jess touches turns to gold. Look at this event she's created. Um, yeah, I can talk about the personal benefits. I've. <laughs> <laughs> you fell from Jess Kimura. I mean, she's launched so many snowboard careers. And yes, there's a lot of work from the riders, but sometimes you need that door to be cracked open for you to kick it in, right? Exactly. Sure. Yeah. You need the platform. You need, uh, you need the opportunity. You need someone to believe in you even. You need just a little bit of support. And it takes a lot of talent and hard work from the rider, like you said. But Jess has provided countless women with that opportunity. Well, Jess has believed in so many other snowboarders and in her film, Learning to Drown, she learns about believing in herself. You know, let's take a look at that teaser because it is, uh, it is something special. Okay. Feel sick? Let's get this behind her. Give us a holler if you feel sick, okay? But I just don't know what happened. What happened? We're gonna lay you right back down. I just remember like laying there and having to remind myself to breathe. I just, I wanted to die, but I knew I couldn't because I could immediately see what it felt like to be left behind. What's everyone's biggest fear, really? Like, losing someone that you feel like you can't live without, and it happened, and he wasn't coming back. So I was like, fuck you, world. I'm drowning anyways, might as well go do it for real. You know, go out with a bang. Oh, you fuck! Fuck! It's like pushing your mind to push your body to do something crazy that is expressive of all of this uh, stuff that I have inside of me. And I, I couldn't understand where this thing was coming from, and I still really don't, but it's coming from in here, and I, it can't be stopped. Oh, my God! <laughs> I think it just goes to show what hard work and determination can do if you're just like, fuck everything everyone says, I'm gonna make it no matter what. Oh my God. Yeah, bitch! 
So Craig, that was a little teaser to Jess's um, Learning to Drown documentary made by Ben Knight. I don't know if you've had the chance to see that documentary, but it is a beautiful film and everyone should take the time to watch it. Whether you are familiar with snowboarding or not, it's just a story of... It's a very, very special story. And if you have not seen that, you can watch that on the North Faces YouTube. You're obviously on the North Faces YouTube right now, so go after the event, have a search, Learning to Drown by Jess Kimura and Ben Knight. It's an inspiring story. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll be, you'll feel empowered. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And hats off to Jess Kimura and her team for putting on this incredible event, making that incredible film, and all the films that she's made, The Uninvited uh, 1, 2, and 3, which you have had a part of. I have been featured in The Uninvited 1, 2, and 3. Um, some of the best days of my life were spent filming for those movies. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> and uh, the standout, Subaru standout riders, thank you as well. We're going to take a quick look at those individuals who uh, walked away with checks for $500 from day one and day two of this qualification in the Subaru standouts. So, Craig, that was just a quick reel from just some of the standout moments from the last two days, and there have been many, many standout moments. But what you just saw, one of them, was Taylor Elliott's and direct on the batting cage feature um, and Jess handing her a check for $500. Uh, Taylor has a really inspiring story that we just have to talk about, and I know many people probably have heard her story already, but she came to the 2023 Uninvited Invitational experiencing what she later learned were her first symptoms of um, an MS diagnosis. Um, so she's been facing that for the last year and she's now here and she, what I've heard from her is that she feels better snowboarding than she does walking these days. Well, that's why you saw her husband, uh, Brandon Coulcard, with her on his back on his back so he walks her up there and you can see she can't really walk but something about being on a snowboard um she is performing like groundbreaking tricks that and direct was a standout subaru standout she walked away with 500 dollars, and we cannot you know express how wild that is it's amazing it it doesn't even make sense it and doesn't. you would never know that about her diagnosis watching that and direct it was it was perfect um, but I think she has a really inspiring story and something we can all, 
We can all take something away from it. We can all take something away. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Before we do so, we want to apologize. Ellie Weiler, we think that was a switch front board same we way. We are so sorry. We, we are so Ellie sorry. Ellie Weiler, you did a front board same way already, and we think that was actually we're, a we're switch front board same way that you were battling. We're going to confirm, and we when we come back from break, <laughs> we'll apologize again. But amazing work, Ellie. Amazing, amazing work. We're going to take a quick 10-minute break. Don't go anywhere. We have the second half of the second annual Uninvited Invitational from Woodward Park City. Uh, we will see you shortly. Part of skating to me is constantly overcoming fears and trying to push what I think is possible for myself. Finding your line, it's very much about finding the route in which like you can maybe be the best version of yourself. Expression and color is a big part of that. Pink has a lot of femininity, strength, and beauty. But there is a power in owning it and making it your own. The idea that we got back then was that girls were kind of a joke and nobody would take us seriously. If there was a guy in a whole video full of men, who had like a ponytail or something like I would watch that part over and over and kind of squint my eyes to pretend it was a girl just to like convince myself that that's what I want to look like and so I never thought that we'd get to a point at least in my lifetime where the level is so high when you're fighting for change or something you don't get to see that much change in your lifetime and I've seen it in 10 years it's really like heartwarming to see girls be able to like have their confidence. We always knew we could do it, but we just had to jump through so many hoops to get there. And now with some of those hoops removed, like the sky's the limit. That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any snakes? Nope. You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> Whoa, is that a buffalo? Maybe that's a cow. <laughs> the Subaru Cross Trek Wilderness. Adventure on the edge.
Stop the turning back. Turn it back.
That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any snakes? Nope. You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> Whoa, is that a buffalo? Maybe that's a cow. <laughs> the Subaru Cross Trek Wilderness. Adventure on the Edge. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 welcome back to the second annual Uninvited Invitational from Woodward Park City. We've had an hour and a half of riding so far in our finals today. I'm Craig McMorris alongside the very accomplished pro snowboarder, Dara Reed McLean. And Dara, there's been some incredible tricks thus far. There have been. It's been so exciting to watch, and I can't wait to see what happens in the second half of this 2024 Uninvited Invitational at Woodford Park City. Presented by North Face, obviously. Uh, we started three days ago with 75 riders. We cut that down to 35. That's who you see in this finals. They have a three-hour jam session. We've already seen the first half, an hour and a half of riding, and I think this uh, second hour and a half is going to be, you know, mind-melting, as is the temperatures out here. It's, it's hot out here, and We've seen some amazing tricks so far in the first hour and a half, but these riders are just warming up. I think the second half, things are about to go off. And uh, Ben Block and the crew at Woodward have raked things. They've perfected the setup. Things are looking cleaned up, ready to go. So let's get this second session started. Um, if you're just joining us... There are 35 riders in this final. As I mentioned, three-hour jam session. They are riding for a total prize purse of 56,000 US dollars. 56,000 USD. Absolutely. USD. And th That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Let's see how this prize purse breaks down. If you are lucky enough to walk away with that first place position, you're walking home with 13,000, hopefully driving or flying, because you now have $13,000 in your pocket. Second, 10K, third, seven, Fourth, 5K, fifth, $3,000. Then we have a whole slew of Best Trick, Most Creative, Hard Award, Best Bail, One to Watch, Best Air, Style Award, Unleash the Beast Award, Subaru Rookie One, Subaru Rookie Two. Those are all $1,500 checks. So lots of money to be given away here today, Dara. Yes, Craig. Which is exciting. We also, gotta really exciting. <laughs> we also gotta thank our sponsors, the North Face Monster Energy, Yeti, Woodward Park City, Subaru, Union Bindings, Capita, Skull Candy, Bald Face, Nidecker, Cole, Slush Magaz and Slush the Magazine, pardon me, diecutstickers.com as well. Um, favorite trick thus far. Okay, so we can't confirm. Ellie Weiler, yeah, we, we made a mistake. If you were watching this first half of this jam session, she was doing a switch front board, switch front blunt, same way. I'm gonna lose sleep over this mistake, Craig. I really, I apologize to Ellie. She we apologize to Ellie, her she entire family, did the entire snowboarding same community. Same way, day one, she was a Subaru standout for that front board same way and she wanted to mirror that trick today with the switch front board same way and she battled it out we were both invested in the battle it was emotional there was highs there was lows there was some really close ones and then she powered through and she landed it buzzer beater right before the rake and uh, that, that was a switch front board same way switch front board same way we apologize rake. and as Dara mentioned we will lose sleep over it because For we sure. pride ourselves on perfection here at the uninvited invitational second annual from Woodward Park City here. We're about to get way into the second half of this, of the finals, and I'm fired up. I've had a couple monsters. I'm excited. I'm energized. I can't wait to see what these girls are going to do. Neither can I. I think um, one of my favorites was that Naima uh, frontside invert. Here's a great look at the that switch is... front board same way from Ellie Wiley. Ugh. Wow. Yep. Again, sorry she for calling that. Better. She couldn't have. And, and that's a really, like, that switch, like, that's a you know? It's a big burly feature. We it's a up. technical trick. And our judges told us before this event started, 
you got to do all of that. You got to do hard tricks. You got to do them well, and you got to do them on the toughest features. And that's what Ellie Weiler out of Colorado does. And we have an impressive judges panel here. They told us what they're looking for, and they are keeping a close eye on the riders meeting that criteria. Um, some of our judges include Jill Perkins, Marie France Roy, Ra. I'm so sorry. I love Marie France, one of my favorite snowboarders, but I can't say her last name. She's from Quebec. Um, Ilfa. Ilva. Ilfa. Ilva. Also Ruin's daughter. has a hard last name to say, but very impressive resume of video parts. Um, and we have Melissa Rotano. And then head judge Katie Cook, one of the only female Olympic judges. So a very, very accomplished Qualified panel. field of judges. Yeah. Nothing gets past them, and I can guarantee that. And they're looking for style, execution, a variety of features, difficulty, and creativity. Like that trick from Iris Pham right there, that front board same way. Looking for a crail grab on the hip there. Oh, we're going. This is it. We're live. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it here. This is the second jam. Three hours in total, so this will be the last half of this final jam session. Jess Perlmutter wasting no time. She's our youngest competitor, 14 years old. This is Ella Sorensen. Ooh, little 50-50, maybe looking for something more on that down rail, or the down flat down. Nice Pardon me. Grab. Madison Blackley. I'm thinking Anderect here. She was going for it in, oh. Pardon me. She says no. She wanted a method. Never assume. You know what assumptions do? <laughs> what, Craig? I don't know, but not good. You just never know what you're going to get out here. It's such a diverse field of riders and a course of, with a variety of features. Absolutely. You can never assume. Annika Morgan here out of Germany. She's an Olympian. Hey, -o! wow. Straight into the wall. She didn't see that coming. She almost out jumped the hip feature. Too much amplitude for the feature. <laughs> Not that the feature is to blame because the feature has been perfectly manicured and built by Ben Block. We saw that. Uh, the support team at Woodward. Somebody was pretty much still riding when Ben ran out there <laughs> to start raking. Do not get in the way of Ben and his rake. No. As we said, um, this entire crew at Woodward Park City and Ben Bullock for building this course. Um, nobody better. This is Jubes Pelchat from Whistler. Whoa, great save there. I thought she was going down and carves up the quarter pipe, stays base down. She wanted the switch 50-50. That's a hard trick on a waterfall. You know, I like that she went down on the waterfall feature and she still went for the batting cage. It's yep. unfazed. And that's how you have to be out here. Right? This, If you watch slope style big air half pipes, it's not just your best run out of three. It is uh, your entire body of work. As we see Brantley Mullins there. Katie Kennedy, I think she's going to do her best work on this hip feature. I can't wait. That was clean. That was really nice. I'm still waiting for her to go upside down, but I think it'll happen. I think she's been warming up. Yeah. Henna Ikola, she is from Finland. Henna is an Uninvited Films alumni. She had opener in the Uninvited three. Adria Dome. Favorite feature in the course, Dara? Uh, we keep talking about I love that batting cage. Okay, same. I was going to say the same. I think it looks fun to ride. I think it's providing the riders with... Um, they're able to do some creative things on it. We're seeing stalls. We're seeing plants. We're seeing flips. We're seeing 180s. We're seeing all sorts of things. Egan Wind Egan here. Wind. I think we're going to see a plant from her on that batting cage later. But for now, a nice smooth air. And the hat. It's bedazzled. I asked her if she bedazzled it herself. She said no. Okay. Came pre-bedazzled. Pre-bedazzled. She got it that way. Pre-dazzled, they cool say. Hat. Yep. Again, Zach 
That was Grace Warner. Jess already. That was so clean. You, you would never know. That's a 14-year-old riding this course. Yeah. She is a strong rider. It's Vita Holland. Nice tail grab there. Juna Asaya, one of the Japanese riders. I've been loving the way she's been riding the hip feature, and then she always does like a nice carve she has slash a on the quarter pipe. Of style. It almost looks like she's not trying, but I know how hard what she's doing is. But she makes it look so easy, which is a skill. That is. I mean, that's what style is. Do something very difficult, make it look easy, make it look like you're not trying. And exactly. Juna's very good at that. Craig, when I snowboard, I think everyone knows that I am trying. <laughs> she. Just, it looks effortless. <laughs> Same here, Dara. <laughs> Same here. Mila Stalker. Great gap lip slide. A lot of speed in this hip. Hey, how are ya? The riders are kind of maxing that hip out. That quarter pipe is coming up quickly. Hey! There's some snow snakes out there. There is. That's there. what happens it's when it gets slushy. At Woodward Park City. It yep. is slushy out there. Things happen. You and I were taken down a couple times yesterday <laughs> by those snow Just snakes. A few yeah. times. Yeah. We were riding yesterday, medium jumps at Woodward Park City. This is my favorite place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> I love those medium jumps. They're well, fantastic. That was a fun few runs we got yesterday. And the mini pipe. I mean, come on. Switch 50-50 from Sophia Scroll, the previous rider there. Ari Marone. Okay, so here's Ellie. She is goofy. We can confirm that. Again, we apologize. <laughs> this is Rashida from the Netherlands. Nice no press. Oh, lad. Hey, oh, Iris. That was really well done. Iris, she made fam. That look so good. That was sick, fam. Little fun fact about Iris, Craig. She lives in her van. Oh! She does not live in a house, she lives in a van. Travels around, snowboards, basically living the dream of any young snowboarder. And she's riding exceptional. She must have gotten a good rest in her van last yep. night. She looks good out there. Alyssa Brecourt. Our alternate here. She was outside of the top 35, but with Emma Crosby going down yesterday, she got the nod today and is putting on a show. Yeah, missing Emma, but excited to see Alyssa. Wish Emma were here, though. She's been doing a lot of contests this year. She actually recently competed against Jamie Anderson in the natural selection duels. Wrote very, very well. Very well. One of the most exciting duels, I'd say. What do you think? Agree. Facts. Yeah. Hey oh Momo. That is Momo Fujikawa from Hiroshima, Japan. I really want to see Momo go for that again. Sliding sideways through that kink, looking like she was prepping for a 270 out. Yeah, she wanted that 270, that's what it looked like for sure. Ooh. Jalen Hansen might have left her sunglasses in the landing there. It was Nova Lee Engom. Hey, oh, Nova Lee going huge, Ugh. too. 
Remember, after this event, we are doing the Baldface Best Air. The winner of that event will get a free trip to Baldface. And unlike this final, everyone that was competing in the last two days gets to ride in that as well. So, And so if you are missing me in the live feed, it might, I might have just snuck out, get my hit in, my chance at a Baldface trip. I would love that. What trick would you do for your best air? Oh, put me on the spot, Craig. Where's she going? I'd love to go upside down. Okay. I'd love to. That's a sick trick. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm here with you. It's not a, Okay, not life. unfortunately, hopefully, but... <laughs> Here's Katie Kennedy. I think we might see her go upside down today. She, I'd, I'd say she's a contender for the best air. Speaker! Oh, there she goes! It's like, like a backflip crippler kind of like thing. I can see into the you future. You see the future. I, how yeah. did I do that? I don't know. I want Katie to get that. Naima, I, thought, I think, has been riding all the features, right? Like that frontside 360 over the uninvited she sign. She tapped the uninvited yeah. sign. Naima is a very creative snowboarder, one of the most creative snowboarders. Had that front side invert on the uh, softball cage feature. Yep, that was one of our standouts from day two. Subaru standout. Grace Warner, front side 180. Gap to front side 180, riding the ledge switch at a high speed with a 180 in front of the Switch 50-50. Hard trick. Very hard. There's Nora Beck with it. Egan went here, board slide. Very, no slide, if you will. In a bedazzled hat, bedazzling the course with a front three right there. And a lot of these riders, like we said earlier, are very jet lagged. A lot of these riders are jet lagged, and I may have doubts from how much red meat I just ate. Here comes Kalia Opal. Beautiful. Holy smokes. Going for that and direct right there. Kalia Opal. Again, we said it. We've said it many times. This course is absolutely beautiful. And shout out to to all the women in the Woodward Park City Park crew, who really made this thing come to life. They uh, did an incredible job. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know Maddie played a, a big role in helping to build this course. Um, she's a passionate, dedicated park builder and a fantastic snowboarder. Hey! Oh my goodness! Ada. 450 out. 450 out. 450 commish. Seen that yet? Are you kidding me? I did not think she was going to land. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, she powered through. She powered through that. We've seen a lot of riders go down because that is a big drop. It's a flatter landing, so you have to have uh, the shock absorbers ready to go. I think that's yeah, that's for sure the first 450 of the. Of it the is. Event. Yep. 450 locked. Okay, that was stylish. That was very sick. Massey, 50-50, backside, 360 out, maybe sitting down a little bit on that. Oh, she came off a little early. I want to see. I want to see Ari try that again. 100%. Couldn't agree more. But I like where she's going with that. She needs to clean it up a little bit. Ooh, I like this line, ollieing up and into the wall ride. Something we have not we seen here. We haven't seen that, and we love an alternate route. And the judges are gonna score for creativity. That's one of the. It's one of the criteria. Literally, what they're looking for. So. More of that, please. <laughs> she wanted us switch, nose, switch press. nose press.
Ella Sorensen. Uh, what did you call that earlier? So if she would have said if she would have a 270 the same way, I would have called that the Collingwood shuffle. But there she went. Shuffle. 50 that was 50. A yeah, that was a 50 50, and then board sliding the down, the last final down, trying to pretzel out. So we don't have a fun name for that. Question. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm, That's okay. But you know what? I'd prefer to see anyways. It would be just like a solid slide through the entire kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Entire down, flat down. We've seen a combos. That's that's one thing. But I think a solid slide would score a little higher. And be more enjoyable to watch. Agreed. Perhaps. But to each their own, of course. And that's the thing with street riding. It's it creates you can really have a, a wide variety of there's something for everyone. I mean this wouldn't be a very exciting contest if we had thirty five of the same rider, same style doing the same tricks, right? This is such an eclectic group of riders. You know, some maybe from a slope style background, some from a video part background. Uh, there's a lot of younger riders who have really only done rail jams. So you have a great mix in this final, and um, we're seeing very unique styles. There's Ellie Weiler with the regular front board okay. same way. Confirming. <laughs> I mean, she did the switch one so good. Had us all. Had us all twisted. If I were a judge, I would score highly the mirror tricks. I love that. I love to see a switch trick and a regular trick together. Speaking of a that switch was trick, clean Madison. Madison switchboard and slide a nice same way way. Method. That same was way. a that's a good line, Madison. Absolutely legendary right there. Switch. Board slide same way through the down flat down. I think that is going to be one of the more technical tricks, especially on the down flat down we have seen today. Coming in switch on your heels, going through a kink, a down and a flat and another down. Yeah. Smooth. That was really smooth. Iris Pham. Cab one in, back one out. Iris Pham, not a stranger to the contest circuit. No. She's been, she's been doing the rail jam rounds, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> and she actually just won Rookie of the Year, Tournament Magazine Rookie of the Year, Iris Pham. Now we're seeing her here at the 2024 Uninvited Invitational. I mean, I feel like this field is just littered with, you know. Any of these girls could be nominated and then win yep. Rookie Rider of the Year. I'm excited to see what the future holds. She's going to get it in the purple. What's she going to bang us over the head with? Front three bonk on the brand. Now, just, it's looking like she's almost struggling with speed a little bit now. Uh, before the rake break, she was going up and over. Yeah, I wonder if just later in the day it's just gotten hot, slush has slowed her down. There's a lot of, you need a lot of MPH, a lot of miles per hour to get up and over that sign. You sure do. And to get the rotation around. 100%. Ali Brecourt trying that front board same way. A little rock to fakey there. Grace Warner. That's what I'm talking about. Just a, I mean, she could clean that up, but I just want a nice slide through the entire kink rail. I like that. I like that. That, that, that speaks to me. Yeah. And it speaks to Grace, because I've seen her do it a lot. <laughs> slide through kink rails. She's really good. Very good at that, um, as seen in Hot Coco. Hot Coco, very, very good and grew up riding, you know, those uh, Midwest rope toe hills. You get a lot of reps in. Yeah. Yeah. See a lot of good rail riders coming out from the Midwest. That's what I'm There's talking about. The Collinwood Shuffle. 50-50 to lip slide same way. I'm excited about that because we get to say Collingwood Shuffle. <laughs> But again, I'd love to see her slide the whole rail. <laughs> one rail, one trick. That's what I like. But also, again, I'm not up there. Not, nope. Props to these girls for anything they're doing on this course in front of this crowd. I mean, this is mentally a challenging thing and physically. 100%. But also mentally. Yes. 
Ari with that board slide same way, and then the rock to Fakey getting up really top. Is. This is Ivica Jurgensen. There we go, beautiful very board slide. Nice. Another rider known for her very clean, strong trick selection. Very proper. Strong spot selection. Oh, Celia. Celia with Hoping she's okay after that, clipping the tail onto the down bar. One of the scariest parts about lip slide tricks. Always a risk. But it looks like she's okay. People are cheering on the deck for her. Looks like she got up quickly. Jess Perlmutter. No slide pretzel? No, that, we just saw? that was board slide pretzel. Yeah, no slide pretzel. She is putting on a clinic here. I mean, she, Jess is 14 years old, Craig. Her make to, to miss uh, ratio, so I think she's at 90%. Solid. So consistent. Yeah. I've lost count of how many different tricks she's done. I'm under the belief today. that she can't fall. Oh, she's uh, she had a pretty good fall She did yesterday. have one? Oh, yep. she, yesterday. yesterday. Okay, yep. that was yesterday. And she got bat back up, and she's here, riding in the finals, stronger than ever. And that's youthfulness for you. That <laughs> Bounce right back up. Youthfulness and a love for snowboarding. This is Telma. Speaking of youthfulness, she is 19 years old. She got second at the 2023 Uninvited Invitational. Is that right? Telma did get second. She did. After Lolo. With a double backflip. Oh, that was over the, yes. Yep. The double backflip seen around the world. She also recently won the Europe qualifier. So she's been on a roll, you could say. Ellie, it looks like the regular front blunt 270 is going to come a little quicker for her. It is, it is. Which makes sense because it's not in switch. <laughs> she makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Nora back, oh, front Nora's blunt, same so way. stylish. Yeah. I love watching Nora snowboard. <laughs> Holy smokes. I love it. Um, she looks good on a board. It's like she was meant to be on one. 50-50 front three from Henna there. Nicola. Henna always looks like she's having fun. I think that's what it's all about, too. Right? Like That's if, what they say. If you're not having fun, <laughs> it probably doesn't look like it's very fun. Yeah. should be having a good time. Ooh, very, very nice. Elena Griglia, originally from Italy. Now resides in Calgary, Alberta. Elena is a tattoo artist. I did not know that. Snowboard off time. Do you know what style? You know, I wish I did. <laughs> I don't either, so that was terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> We, does, we do know that she does tattoo, though. Can confirm. <laughs> she does tattoo. She does have beautiful blunt slides. Yep. Two facts. She also took off from that lower takeoff, which we haven't seen a lot of riders do on the wall rides. Madison going for a switch and direct. One of the most awkward and difficult hand plants you can do, IMO. That's in my opinion for sure. I agree. I agree. Switch nose press. Oh. From Eureka. And then, oh. Things are really starting She comes to down, base <laughs> down. I, I think she, she surprised me that. and yeah. herself. She yeah. looked really, really happy. You know, Yuri, Yuri's friends fundraised for her to get here to this event today. Gap board slide and then a backflip on the hip. Wow, I can't even keep up. It's fast. It's 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 a feverish <laughs> pitch, if you will. There's that ollie into the wall ride. That was a cool approach. A little different. Whoa, okay. I think she wants to go from the hip to that wall. Do you think that's what she was going for? It's a maybe for me. It was she kind of got caught in between. She was also coming out of that ollie into the wall right you're really, right, really right, fast, right. and and I and it's and it's Perhaps tough to see. Perhaps that was just a miscalculation. Tough to see on camera, but that hip, especially the hip, comes up very fast, especially if you're going very fast off of that first feature. Well, 
it looks like we have a bit of a hold. On a little bit of a course hold right now, folks. We thank you for joining us. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back. Please don't go anywhere. The Uninvited Invitational is coming right back. Part of skating to me is constantly overcoming fears and trying to push what I think is possible for myself. Finding your line, it's very much about finding the route in which like you can maybe be the best version of yourself. Expression and color is a big part of that. Pink has a lot of femininity, strength, and beauty. But there is a power in owning it and making it your own. The idea that we got back then was that girls were kind of a joke and nobody would take us seriously. If there was a guy in a whole video full of men who had like a ponytail or something, like I would watch that part over and over and kind of squint my eyes to pretend it was a girl. Just to like convince myself that that's what I want to look like. And so I never thought that we'd get to a point, at least in my lifetime, where the level is so high. When you're fighting for change for something, you don't get to see that much change in your lifetime. And I've seen it in 10 years. It's really like heartwarming to see girls be able to like have their confidence. We always knew we could do it, but we just had to jump through so many hoops to get there. And now with some of those hoops removed, like the sky's the limit. That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any snakes? Nope. You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> Whoa, is that a buffalo? Yeah, that's a cow. <laughs> the Subaru Cross Track Wilderness. Adventure on the edge. Welcome back to the Uninvited Invitational here at Woodward Park City presented by the North Face. We just had a quick course hold there. Unfortunately, Yuna Asaya goes down. But here's a live look at our competition thus far. My name is Craig McMorris alongside the wonderful and talented Dara Reed McLean. We we'll bring you the action here on the live feed. Uh, three hour jam session, $56,000 prize purse will be split. Here today, I, I, I think Jess is just, out, she's like, you know, I've never tried a backflip. I think I'm going to do a backflip now. She's learned, it's improvisational jazz from yeah. Jess Perlmatter. She is. Perlmatter, pardon me. Is having a good time out there. Wow, that was a fantastic and direct there from Ari. This is Jalen Hansen. Again, I know you're probably sitting at home thinking, wow, that course is beautiful. And you are right. Big shout out to Maddie Montgomery and Laura Rogowski, who uh, are part of the Woodboard Park City Park crew. And they are uh, instrumental in creating this beautiful, beautiful course. Yeah, it's so nice to see more and more women um, 
taking part in the in the building aspect of the snowboard industry. We're seeing it more these days. We have events like Take the Rake. We have Laura who's working with Snowboy, building those courses, which are so fun to ride. And yeah, we just want to see more women involved in all aspects all of the facets. snowboard industry. We're seeing a lot of women here today shooting photos, filming, um, wearing many hats. Absolutely. Right? Shout out Mary Walsh, Mia Daniel, just to name a few. So not only are we seeing the highest level of women's street snowboarding here, we're also seeing a little bit of everything today and all week here at Woodward Park City. Absolutely, we started the week two days ago with 75 riders, cut that down to 35, and that's who you're seeing here today. And we're talking 35 of the best street snowboarders the best. in the world. In, this is an international field. We have girls from Austria, Australia, Canada, Iceland, Estonia, Russia. They're, Ho! Oh! I, I missed it. I was rattling off the countries. I don't even know what just happened. Craig? That was a backflip and then um, a little lack of rotation. Okay. Undercooked, you could say. Undercooked. <laughs> Slightly undercooked. Unlike the riders who are probably feeling a little overcooked, it's hot out there. It's hot. And be sure to apply. Okay, Ellie. Oh. I knew it. I knew that one was going to come, like... It's, a, it's that was a classic, funny. Dara. I don't mean to say I told you so, but I told you so. She told me <laughs> and she moments right. ago. Yeah, she was right. Ellie Weiler has now done a switch front board same way and a regular front board same way on the wall ride. Oh, Features that Pelchat was a thing of beauty from Juliet Pelchat, aka Jubes. Shout out to her family, probably watching back in Whistler. Thelma backing Ellie up and making it look easy. And we know it's not. It's not. It's not easy at all. <laughs> this is why you got to stay for the entire jam session. These riders because these riders are hours building. and hours of training to make it to this event, to be selected as the 35 finalists. Egan went there. Hand plant, front side invert, all the way up to the top. Beautiful Egan board side. There. <laughs> Egan went there. Egan went there, there. To the top. She went there. Egan went. No. Some people say don't go there. She went there. I'm so sorry. Her last name's Wint. It's yeah, it's, so her name's Egan. We apologize. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so anyway, this is Elena. <laughs> oh, pardon me. This is Katie Kennedy. Katie Kennedy. She's also going for... This might be it. Backflip. Right kind of crippler, though. Kind of. That's crippler. more of a crippler. That's oh! Had crippler front lip. In, yes. <laughs> you know, she is uh, an ATV. Yeah. She rides. All terrain lifts. vehicle. She rides rails. That might have been a crippler to front lip attempt. I don't think it was, but <laughs> had she landed in the transition, I think she would have had that. 100% if she would have landed it where she wanted to. Elena Greglia. We'll ask her later what kind of tattoo artist she is. Yeah. Find Traditional out. stick and poke. Those are the only two I know, so I'll stop <laughs> listing them. <laughs> Here's some speed. Oh. That was Momo Fujikawa. Big gap lip slide attempt from her. A lot of speed going into that concrete. Jess Perlmutter back on course. How does she get back I'll up just, there so fast? I'm just going to go sideways through the down flat down now, and I want to see her do another back flip, though. That board slide through the down flat down was very well done, and I second that statement, Dara. She is one to watch really, one thank to watch gosh sure. we have the one to watch yeah. award uh for the one to watch here in the final they'd be walking away with fifteen hundred dollars and i'd say she's a contender i mean i'm no judge but i'd say she's a contender for top five potentially and she could be walking away with a lot of money in her pocket that's a lot of money for a 14 year old what do you think she'll do with it what do 14 year olds do these days 
with their money? I would tell her to invest properly, and and it's it's not timing the market; it's time in the market. You know, and she has a lot of time. So if only someone had told me that when <laughs> I was 14, Craig. Where were you when I was a young gal? Nobody has ever given me good financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Nora! Nora. Bang. Blunt 270. That was so well done. She just looks so good on a snowboard. And we talked about it earlier, but she's coming back from a major injury, and she doesn't look like it at no. all. She's riding confident. She's riding with style. She doesn't look like she has a single bit of fear in her eyes. I can't see her eyes because she's wearing goggles, but she doesn't, I don't think there's... If you could, there. though. Madison has just been honestly surgical with feature selection, right? Madison is a very consistent, calculated rider. I think she's put her base on every single feature yeah. that uh, the wonderful park crew from Woodward at Park City has built here. I mean, she knows what she's doing. She's been snowboarding for a long time, longer than Jess Perlmutter has been alive. <laughs> and I don't, there's no room for error on a, on a course like this for a rider like Madison. No. There just isn't. Naima, let's go up and over. Come on, Naima. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to match up how she wants it to. If I could, if I was there, I would say, hey, maybe let's move on. Because it's not pilot error. It's just exactly. a speed issue. It's, uh, it's not user error. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. But when you want something True. so bad, you're often blind to the logistics yeah. of that. And it's a logistical She could pull nightmare. it off. And there have been a lot of logistical things surrounding this event, and it's amazing to see the crew that has pulled it off. They're working hard. Not only are the riders working hard, but the people behind the scenes are working hard out here. From the social teams, to the park builders, to our wonderful production staff that are in the truck, um, everyone putting in so much work, and we thank you. We've had such a fun week here at Woodward Park City. I mean, there was a welcoming party at the Skull Candy headquarters. There have been friendship bracelet making stations. Just the, the networking for the riders and for the community. And it's just been such an uplifting week here at Woodward Park City. Oh, Ali Brinkworth. Brinkworth. I didn't see that coming at all. Out of left field, a backside 270 onto the down bar. Love that. Started snowboarding in 2018, I believe. Relatively new to snowboarding, and she's out here. And I bet Ooh. she's getting the energy yep. from the field, the other riders. She's like, okay, I'm going to try this. And she did. You just saw Grace Warner with a beautiful switch front board on the down bar. But to, uh, to echo your point, I love that about a jam session because you see something go down, you're close, you're with everybody, and that inspires you to maybe go above and beyond what you normally would do. Yep. That was a really smooth... Stylish run. Yeah, I'm not a contest rider myself, Craig, but I do see the benefits from the energy and being up there with your peers. Jubes trying that switch board slide same way. I was talking to her before the event, and that was one of the tricks she really wanted to get on the waterfall rail. Oh, I'm so happy for her then. Ellie Weiler. Okay, so Ellie's moving on now. She's like, all right. She got the her wall tricks. I think we're going to see some more tricks on the hips from her now. Prepping for that bald face best air event we'll have shortly after Ooh. the end of this jam. Can't wait. And anyone is eligible for the bald face best air award. Switch 50-50, cab that was three. Sophia scroll. I didn't know that was switch until you told me so, Craig. That's why I'm so happy to be here with you, your attention to detail. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dara. Well, <laughs> I echo those sentiments to you because we've been having a blast here at the second annual Uninvited Invitational at Woodward Park City. The level of riding, mind melting. We've had makes, we've had bales. But just to go back, switch 50-50, 360 out from Sophia. That's scary. It's quite scary. Ooh. It's frightening. <laughs> I hope she tries that again. Annika Morgan, lip slide pretzel. Lip slide pretzel. <laughs> We've seen a lot of pretzels, but we have seen very few lip slide to pretzels. Ooh, to a nice air on the hip. 
It's not her first rodeo. Let's see if she does a rodeo later, maybe. She might. She's an Olympian, Craig. 2022, slope style, bigger. Vita, 50-50 front side, 360 there. Wow. Adara, fatigue has got to be a factor. It's got to be. I don't, I can't imagine it. These riders have been riding for the last two days to qualify to become one of the 35 selected from the 70. And now they're on their third full day of hiking, of snowboarding, of trying their hardest tricks, of landing their hardest tricks. It's really... The athletic uh, stamina and talent. <laughs> it's all about recovery. I know you're a huge yogi. You stretch after, drink water. A lot of stretching, a lot of water. Take your vitamins, rest well. Nice, Henna. Henna going for that big cab 180 on the gap to Hubba. And you know, day of, if you really need a monster energy drink, drink one. Audrey Doan. Tempting the front blunt same way on the waterfall rail. Elena! Oh, you got to hang on to that one because it's a beauty. It's a beauty. I like the way she did that. It From that lower plenty, takeoff? Yeah. Very, very nicely done. Here's Katie Kennedy. Going for the crippler. Almost. Almost getting it. She just a little revert in the landing. If, if yeah. at, you're at home saying, "Hey, she landed that," well, Craig and Derek, why are you guys so mean to her? We're not. We just know what the judges are looking for. We've talked to the judges. Uh, they're not gonna give that to her. Um, Jill Perkins, Marie France, Ilfa, Melissa. And I'm gonna go on record and say that Katie wouldn't want that given to her either. Ian, I believe, just gapped the stair set with a back three. To a frontside invert attempt. To a frontside invert attempt, and Egan going to run back up there. I Maybe. Like the back three. I did like the back three. Trying to get some more speed here. 45 minutes left in our jam session, so the yeah. tricks will be heating up. It's a nice gap to lip slide from Momo. Woo! Okay, Madison's been trying that for the last few. That was pretty good. But I think she's going to want to clean it up. What do you think, Craig? I agree with that. Okay. I think she can do it a little bit a little better. It was very well done, but. Another gap of. Gap backside 360 <laughs> for Mila. These riders are just saying, you know, we've slid the rails. We want some airtime. I guess. I guess. I mean, that's. I agree. Not Jess, though. <laughs> Switch front board same way Jess on the down bar. Every, she, she just keeps doing different tricks every. Every hit. She's probably hit the course about 30 times. We've seen 30 different trick attempts. Most of them makes, too, so. Most of them makes. Julia Pelshat, yes! Very nice. Beautiful switchboard slide, same way 270 out on the waterfall rail. If at first you don't succeed, Julia Pelchat does succeed That's later. The beauty of the jam format. Yep. You get multiple chances. Nobody has to walk away feeling like they didn't give it their all to get the tricks they wanted to get. Unless they don't get them in the three hours. <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Come back and run for the open with Dara tomorrow. I'll be out there. Uh, I can't wait. She'll coach you through it. How about you, Craig? Uh, I don't think I will be out there tomorrow. Wow, that's Unfortunately. not the answer I expected. I, I can't believe you turned down this beautiful course. I didn't turn it down. Ben Block. You get a chance to ride a course built by Ben Block, and you're you're gonna say no thanks. It's too perfect for me. I would ruin it. Grace Warner, frontside air. Ellie coming into the hip. There we go. Backside rodeo, oh. let's go. First, that was first try. That was first try. First We've try watched every try. Rodeo. And that was the first one of those. That is the trick of my dreams and she just did it. <laughs> first, first try. try. 
the talent Ooh. that has come out for this event is incredible. We're watching the best and on the, the best. And the thing is, like, a lot of these girls, they're relatively new to the snowboard scene, and they're getting a chance here to show what they're made of. This is just the start for a lot of these girls. Iris Pham. Cab 180. Regular 50-50 on the down bar. There's the crail grab. I love that grab. But let's go back to uh, Ellie Weiler's backside rodeo. I think that is um, probably has my vote for best air thus far. I think so too. Yep. There, there are actually two different best air prizes. There's just the regular best air. You walk away with $1,500. And then there's the bald face best air. And the prize for that, a free trip to bald face. And if it were me and if I were her, I would repeat that trick in the bald face best air. Yes. Um, because I would want that bald face trip. Yeah. I want that bad. Who would it? Get me in the chopper, Craig. Okay. <laughs> Dear Jeff. I know I'd look good on Scary Cherry. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I know you'd look good on Thank you. this Woodward Park City Thank you. Invitational course. I don't think I could do a Switch 50 as good as that one right there from Leva. Nice fun. It's Luna. And then she just... Just a quick hello yeah. to the media. Dap up the judges. And they're loving that. <laughs> I think that Stan may be best dressed. <laughs> Stan wins best dressed award. Yeah. Stan from Slush Magazine. He came and said hello earlier. He had his chest painted in support of Katie Kennedy, who happens to be Slush Magazine's uh, digital marketing coordinator. I don't exactly know what that title means. It sounds fancy. Anything with coordinator in it. Coordinator. Yeah. It's, an it's a high role. level, yeah. Requires a lot of coordination. A little break to let Nora run and grab her goggles. And that was a, I mean, that was a three-piece blowout, if you will. Two goggle and lens. You don't see the lens pop out so That's often. I missed the bail. I don't know what we were talking about, but. We're talking about coordinators. And coordination. I imagine that was a blip in Nora's coordination. Yeah. If her She's been, out. She has been riding but very well. Yeah. Okay, so you can see them all up there, at the top of the course. They're all planning their next trick. This is usually, Dara, and you can speak to this from experience, this is usually when the jam kind of slows down a little bit. You know there's maybe 30, 40 minutes left. You want to do, you know, your biggest tricks right now. I think. I'd, yeah, I'd say there's freshest in the two, judge's mind. two different attitudes up there. There's one of like, I've done all my hardest tricks and I landed them quickly and now I don't know what to do. Yep. And there's the, okay, it's my time to, to get that big trick that I haven't done yet and make an impression. They've all 35 of them have already made a huge impression on myself personally. I couldn't agree more. The level of riding, trick selection, feature selection. Selling switch back 50 50. I thought she was coming at that. Nobody all rides. does that. Nobody does that. Switch back 50 50. Celine Lakata from Austria. Allie Brecourt, does she go back okay, to again? We're going. Hey! She's building off the crowd hype. She is. I think she's going to go back for that. I think if we ask her later, she'll probably say, I haven't tried a back 270 before, and I was just so fired up from the energy of this contest. And she's going to get it. Okay. Best one wow. we've seen today. There we go, Naima. That. See, she stepped away from that feature for a bit. She came back. It's she your, got it, that. It's your classic let it breathe, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. A little bit of non-attachment. Yeah. You know? 
let it breathe, come back to it. That was a amazing frontside invert. Does really Egan nice. Wint go for that as well? Oh. I landed back on her feet. I'm going to go ahead and say that's not what she meant to do, but, but I think she's going to be happy that she did like it. reflex. Yeah. Instinct comes into play. It's cool to see. Another. That was Mila Stalker out of Australia on that Nidecker snowboard. Maybe going for a gap back two or possibly just a back three over the whole set. Maybe just preparing for the back two, just easing into it. Jeff, oh, perfect. Perfect. Perlmutter. I'm excited about that. Get out of here. Switch <laughs> front board same way. <laughs> that was perfect. She couldn't have done that better. And that's like the hundredth trick she's done on this course today. Okay, Katie wants this crippler. Katie's Katie, Katie gets wants, the Katie gets. What Katie wants, Katie gets. She is fired up visibly because she has gone to battle with that thing, Dara. Love to see it, the perseverance. Love a good battle. I mean, those last two tricks from Jess Perlmutter, switch front board same way, and then we just saw from Katie Kennedy that beautiful backflip she's been battling all day. So these riders definitely saving the best for last. Grace Warner, front yeah. side 270. I take it back. I don't think there's two different mindsets up there. I think... There's only one mindset. There's one mindset. Yeah. It's, we're in it. Last 40 minutes of finals, we're throwing down. And they have been. Yes. Grace Warner had been trying. She had done that gap front one mm -hmm. on the hubba. And I was kind of thinking, is that the trick where she may be warming up for a front two? And there you see she went for that front side 270. Calculated. Yeah. Grace Warner does not just, doesn't just huck. Ellie Weiler, backside rodeo. So she's already got one, but it looks like she was maybe trying to clean it up, go a little bigger there. I don't know why I liked her first one, but good for her. Good for you. Good for you, Craig. <laughs> 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 We're having fun. <laughs> and we hope you are from wherever you are watching the Uninvited Invitational 2 from Woodward at Park City. It is such a beautiful day. Brought to you by the North Face. And the list of our sponsors, Monster Energy, Yeti, Woodward, Park City, Subaru, Union Bindings, Capita, Skull Candy, Baldface, Nidecker, Cole, Slush, The Magazine, and DieCutStickers.com for putting on. Thank you for putting on such an amazing event. Thank you so much to the sponsors. This event couldn't have happened without them, and I think this event is going to change the game. Change the game? Forward. I mean, last year you kind of sat, sat there and thought to yourself, how does it get better than this? And uh, Jess Kamura and team has outdone herself yet again. I could not have imagined Jess Kamura outdoing herself after her series of uninvited videos. And then she came in and she was like, I'm going to throw a contest and it's going to have the biggest prize purse in the history of women's snowboard contests. And then she outdid herself again and got an even bigger prize purse. It's just, it's uh, unlimited what Jess can do. It's a glass ceiling and Jess Kamura hates glass. <laughs> she punches right through it every time. You mentioned the she event last concrete. year. Yeah, she <laughs> does. <laughs> last year's prize purse, $40,000. This year's $56,000. So she ups that. Someone's going home today, Craig, with $13,000 USD. And we don't know who it is because this finals has been all over the place. I have no idea. I mean, you could toss in the name Jess Perlmutter could be in there. Wow, uh, Hannah, that was a really clean gap back lip. Hannah Ikola could be in there. Nora Beck could be in there. Ellie Weiler, Telma. Madison Blackley is a name. Naima could be in there. I mean, there are so many riders who have been riding this entire course, doing technical tricks, doing everything and more that the judges wanted to see, so. Yep, these are the best street snowboarders in the world. They've come from all over and they're putting on a show and they want a piece of this prize purse. And any one of them could get it. Switch 50 through the down flat down from Leva Tano. Wow. Dara, you mentioned how difficult it was to, you know, do those switch slides and uh, Leva 
Make switch 50-50 even harder, I would say, than a switch slide. And a switch 50-50 through a kink rail. You don't see that very often. I haven't seen that since uh, Jess Kamira in, on her switch 50-50 on the uh, triple kink yes. in Ottawa. Yes, yep. Years ago. <laughs> Maybe inspiring. I bet, I bet. Nolly back tail, same way. Okay, so. There are technical tricks starting to come out. This is, yes. No Egan through the down flat. Down. And I don't think there was a tap. I don't think so either. Backside nose press through the down flat down. Oh, that, that front board. Board from Naima. She wanted that front side invert again, but I don't think she has to do it again. I, if I were her, I would. Stop. Yeah. You've done it Next. so well. She's done it twice, actually, very well. Yeah, she has. She did one yesterday, day two standout. That earned her five hundred dollars alongside. Um, no Valley. Buddy, Sophia, and Taylor Elliott, of course, with another hand plant on the batting cage. The Andirect, heard around the world. You saw it on Instagram. If you haven't, go look up Taylor Elliott, see her story, and that amazing trick she did yesterday. 30 minutes left in this jam session, so the tricks will be getting even harder. The riders will be going even bigger. That was a nice big tail grab. That was. Well done. Ari going, she did a backside 50-50, but it almost looked like she was hunting for a back lip, possibly. I wonder what she was thinking there. Ooh, Grace Warner. Grace Warner, the first rider to touch that flat bar. And then off that flat bar, it looks like she was going for a transfer. I, I could see that happening, and I want to see that happen. Mila, backside 270 okay. on the hubba. What would you tell Mila right now? I want you to get more of that hubba, Mila. Just a little more. Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh. Brantley, Brantley Mullins. Hold your breath, folks. Yep. That was cleaner, I think. You can disagree with me. You're allowed. I can't remember. I liked the first one. She kind of put her hands down on she that did. one. I, I'm she, not, I don't mean to be nitpicky. No, no, I, no but you have to. Dream trick you have for me. To. Um, I liked both. I like both, too. I Maybe. think she's probably just preparing, trying to get more consistent for that bald face best air award. That'll be happening right after this event right here. Okay, Momo, that was really stylish. What is it, do you think, about Japanese rider? Like, I, style is always just at the forefront. I wonder what it, maybe something in the water? I don't know, but it is. Um, it seems to be a common threat. It's more than a pattern. Yeah. It's intentional. They put a real emphasis on style. And I'm here for it, Dara. I love to see it. Okay, Celia Petrick, she's back up. She had a she had a fall earlier. These riders are tough. We got doubles on course here. Katie Kennedy, I don't know who's right behind her. Beautiful method. That's Jubes right behind her. Yep. Oh, yeah, I it like is. that. Did they plan that? That must have been. We haven't seen any synchronized boarding yet. Yeah. That's nice. They're making friends up there. They're like, hey, I'm going to do a method. Do you want to do a method with me? That's such a digital marketing coordinator move. <laughs> she would. Nora. Oh. Oh, Nora. That one looked kind of bad <clears throat> very very tough fall the from the riders at the top they they felt that pain they've all been there we have all been there i felt that in my stomach 
Same here. Very tough ball from Nora Beck there. She did ride out under her own power, gave a little bit of a wave to the crowd. Yeah, I think she's going to be okay, but... We won't assume what she's feeling, but she's making it look like she is okay. Man, they are tough. <laughs> you can see the riders on deck concerned for their friend. This is a tough situation to be in, okay. too, is to drop in after you see such a She's uh, walking a around. Nail. She looks like she's okay. You know, Nora had that back 270 on the first day. She was one of the super standouts from day one, and it kind of looked like she was going for that again. I think so. Maybe a clip. Or maybe a back three almost. I don't know. But she already proved her point. The back 270 day one was beautiful. Switch back 50 50 there. Very nice from Elena. Madison Blackley, you asked for it, Dara. There you go. It's like she heard me. Madison and I are good friends, and I feel like I telepathed to her. A little ESP. Yeah. That was perfect. That was. She cleaned that up for us. Move on, says Dara. Yeah, next. And I know she has another trick. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. Tail slide 270. Nice slip slide from Ari there. Iris Pham opting out of the hip this time. Saving energy, I would assume. Smart. Strategic. Hey! That was really well done by Luna. Front blunt 270 from Luna going down on the hip. But remember, but folks, okay. it's your overall body of work. And that was a nice front blunt 270. And here comes Grace Warner. <gasps> I don't think They're we've listening. seen this yet. No, uh -uh. I'm, I, I've been requesting it. We need to see a front board through that kink rail. You've been manifesting it. You've yeah. spoke that into existence, Dara. And if there's one to do it, it's going to be Grace Warner. Facts. She is very friendly with the kink rails. <laughs> Gets going, along well. Yeah. She does. Plays nice with others. Yeah. I think she was just testing the waters, dipping her toes in, but next try, I think she's got it. Nolly back. Wow. That was Telma right there. I really want to see her go back to the well on that Nolly think she back tail. 270? I think she does. I think so too. And I think she can do it. I haven't seen too many girls execute that trick successfully. Telma's the one for it though. Allie Brecourt with that backside 270 attempt. Looking like she just has way too much weight on her back foot. In really back seat when she comes over the rail. It makes it very difficult to catch it but she's got more time folks if you're just joining us uninvited invitational two from woodward ellie. at park city switchboard slide same way from ellie first try no problem she's not gonna have to battle that one nope that was just she was like i'm gonna take a break from that i'll throw this stock trick not an easy stock trick not a stock trick for many but a stock trick for ellie weiler definitely not for me yes uh, that might have been that's the best one better I'm, I was going to say, why is she trying this again? And I'm so happy she did, because I think that one was even better. Wow, that was a fantastic frontside invert. So now she's landed three of them. The third, in my opinion, the best. Third tries a charm, is what they say.
Mila? Now it's just a directional issue for okay, her. I, I, I'm certain now, based on that attempt, that she is going yeah. for the back 270 on the ledge, and I think she just needs to take off a little straighter. Yes. And she's got that. Which is sometimes really tough to do on a backside 270 because you, you, you want to get the rotation You're around, either. obviously. Yep. And what happens then is you, you dig your toes in, you air over it a little bit too much as we see Eden Wint go down on the front side. Mm. Invert. Looked like a tough fall. Jalen Hansen there. Here we go. Iris, fam. Let's and go, fam. Also answering my <laughs> request for a front board through the King Grail. Let's go, fam. Do you have a direct line to the riders there, or how are they just listening just, to you? I'm and just then on their wavelength, you know? Yeah. I'm one of you. You're me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Beatles quote. <laughs> we are all one. Yeah. Brought together today by Jess Kamira in Woodward Park City. Jess Perlmutter front boarding. She just doesn't miss. She does not miss. Said I can't wait to see what's in her future. Yeah, I, I mean, I, sh I think. She's 14 years old. Here we go, Grace. Front board, down, flat, down. Let's Come go. On, Grace. Ooh, she's close. Okay, she's got that. It's a bad day to be a down, flat, down, folks. When Grace Warner is around, yes. Wow. 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 That was a perfectly executed stale fish. Really nice stale fish. Big stale. Elena. And that was a perfectly executed blunt 270 from Elena. She's been battling She's that one all that. day. She's really happy about that. I'm really happy for I'm getting second hand. I'm feeling chills. And rightfully so. She took off from the lower takeoff. That wasn't just straight on. That was a proper blunt same way. Really sick. Oh, it brings a tear to my eye seeing the excitement of a stomped trick. <laughs> you know the feeling, Chris. Yeah. You've, Clip high. You've filmed many of the street part. Front board, same way there. From Massey. Okay, okay. Yuri. Hey! hey! Front board to Fakey. She went backwards through that kink rail and she committed and she came out fakey. That, that was a full commit. That, you can't commit harder than that. Yep. Right in between the bindings, completely blind through wow. the kink. Thank you, Iris. Didn't even take her that long. That no, wasn't a battle. That was at all. like second try. It was just another day in the park for Iris Fam. But when you have such a nice rail built so well on such a nice course. I get it. Not that it's easy, but I get it's it. It's not easy, but. She's taking. Where does Telma go here, you think, Dara? That is, oh, oh, somebody give her a piggyback up there. Okay. She has to do the nolly back tail same way. Yeah. Nice method from Celia. Grace Warner out of Michigan. She's been trying this front board. And she gets it yes, to fakey, Dara. Back to back with Iris. Well, 
I got what I wanted <laughs> from this contest. All right, Dara's done. She's out of here. Yeah, she saw the front boards through the kinks. Thank you. Iris, Iris Fam and Grace. Yeah. And I knew they had it in them. I knew they were just saving it. Well, we've seen a lot of battles here in this three-hour session. That? Those weren't battles. Those weren't battles. Nope. Also, we're getting close to the three. Are we getting close to the three? These we guys are. don't look like they're getting tired no. at all. I thought they'd be getting tired by now. Roughly 15 minutes left in our jam. That's Momo. Yeah. Fujikawa, originally from Japan. Olivia Tano wants that back blunt 270. That nice andirect there. Casual andirect. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes left in this, and then we're going to do a five minute rake and get into the bald face best air. Katie Kennedy practicing for the bald face best air. Great nose press there. Something high speed. Oh, what do we have from Henna? <gasps> hey! Nice approach to that ledge. Taking off from that rider's left takeoff. That was a unique, unique takeoff. Not the takeoff meant for that rail, but. Not at all. But she made it work. She gaps all the way out and over. Switch 50 cab 360. Jalen. That was Jalen Hansen. Hansen. I don't even understand that. Switch 50, cab 3. That's scary. You're taking off switch. You're riding the rail switch. You're landing switch. It's a lot of switch. Egan went. Shout out Mikey LeBlanc. Just alling the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Egan really wants this frontside invert, and she had a great frontside invert at last year's Uninvited Invitational. She's trying to back herself up. Here's Mila Stalker. She's been trying this backside 270 all day. Let's see if she corrects the takeoff. Little better. Little better. I I mean, that was a tap. But she's, I don't want to be nitpicky, but no, I no. know the judges are being. You're doing your job. You got to do it. OK. <laughs> We're throwing some big tricks right here. Backside 180 attempt onto the waterfall rail, something we have not seen yet today. Allie Brecourt. She's trying that backside too. She's been battling that one. Iris. She, she, just, <laughs> she wanted to follow up her last front board with another front board. Why no, not? Another front board to Fakie there. I think her first one was maybe a little bit like stronger. And I think she's trying that again because she wants to go back to regular as well. We've seen two front boards through the down flat down, both to Fakie, however. You know, I like the front board to Fakie. What do you think, Craig? I like it. I think it's tough. I think going to regular would maybe be a little stronger because we have already seen those two tricks, right? right? I think if you can differentiate yourself in any way, shape, or form, that will stay with the judges. Great point. They're looking for variety. And I mean, if Iris Fam can do that, as well as show how much control she has, you do both, right? Grace Warner. Wow. And that's hey that's it. Front that board. That was the front board. Exactly what back. we were talking about. Yep. Now that you mention it, I said I like the front board to Fakie, and I still do, but I like that a lot too. <laughs> Maybe better. We like it all. We hope you folks at home are liking it all from the Uninvited Invitational 2 at Woodward Park City, presented by The North Face. Elena looked like she was 
I think she wanted the pretzel. She Ratcheting up for a pretzel there. We talked about it off the top there, Dara. It was, it's a three hour jam session. It's a long time to be snowboarding. You gotta build your entire body of work. And I see the, the strategy that a lot of the riders are taking is, yeah, let's get a lot of tricks off the top. Let's get do our gaps, our gap board slides, our gap lip slides. And now we're seeing the technicality really come out. And there hasn't been a ton of battles for the super hard tricks. No, I mean, a lot of these riders, they're riding consistently. Yes! That Nolly Backtail! Telma showing why she won the European qualifier, showing why she was second place at last year's event, showing why she wants to be on the top of the podium here, walking away with 13 grand. And speaking of battles, that was not even a battle. I no. think she got that third try. Ooh. But yeah, three hours. You, you gotta have a little strategy coming yeah. into it. I mean, these riders, they all have their stock tricks. And then they all have their more sendy tricks that might require a little more effort. Those tricks that maybe on your, now. yeah, those tricks that maybe are on your periphery, the ones that maybe scare you a little bit when you're standing up there. This is when you put them down. Like the transfer. I would save that till the end too, as a strategy. Haruna Ishihara, you saw there. We've been calling her Luna. That's her nickname out of Kyoto. I can't imagine how these girls feel up there with about 10, 15 minutes left at their chance of winning a piece of a $56,000 prize purse. Oh, that could have been something special from Livia. Wow, tail slide 270. Jess, Jess wants a front board pretzel on top of that wall. Jerry did an incredible front board back to regular, which I mean, let's not let's not dance around this. Very difficult on a flat rail with a big drop to come back to regular as well. Pearl Mutter riding well beyond her 14 years on Earth. That's the exciting thing about this contest too. It's not even just about the prize purse. It's getting eyes on new riders like Jess. I couldn't agree more with you, Dara. She kind of just came out of nowhere and is killing it. Does Naima go back to the front side invert? She's got to be happy with that last one. Nope, she wants. I think she wants coping. Okay. She wants okay. coping. Okay, now I understand. Now we understand. Okay, she wants all the way up there. We were playing checkers. Naima's playing chess, <laughs> okay? Naima is, in fact, a very good chess player. Is she? Uh, yeah, she has a chess club at Brighton. No way. I've played against her, lost every time. Oh, oh, Egan. So Egan, I think, got coping there. She did. Was, yep. But it's coping hunting season. Yep. I see what they're playing at now. Nice. Board slide, same way there. A little tuck knee on the hip. Ooh, I Ooh, like that too. Tricks in that was I like that, Celia. Elena gets her pretzel. All right, Dara, we're getting into crunch time now. Five minutes left of this jam session. I'm sweating. This is I'm like this is exciting. I don't know what's gonna happen. 
five minutes. It's crunch time. It is. Grace Warner, her last run front board, back to regular, threw the down flat down. Ari here. Left foot forward or natural way of riding, maybe hunting for a front board there? Hard to say, Craig. I think she's pretty just focused on that hand plan. That ander was very well done. Jube's clean front lip. Jube's has been um, clinical, right? We saw her hit almost every single feature. I love that switchboard slide, same way. Doing the 50-50 back three on the wall. Good hip tricks. I th a little closer. That was Mila Stalker. She's been trying that backside 270 onto the hubba. Just airing over it a little bit too much. Yes. Jess, pull motor, oh yep! Oh my god! Here we go! Wow! That was incredible. That, that was amazing. Was amazing. I, she, uh, that was second try. Front, Front board, board pretzel. pretzel. On the wall. The wall, like that landing is, I don't know, three times as tall. As <laughs> She's, and, and you know, we've seen some pretzels on features, a down bar. You know, we've seen it on that, but we haven't seen it off of a flat rail, which I think is very difficult to do. Yeah, Jess is riding well beyond her years. Katie Kennedy. Sorry, put down a backflip on the left side here, a backside ear on the right side, rider's right, if you will. Wow, it's a good crowd. Good crowd collected on the deck there. They look excited. Telma. <gasps> oh my wow. good word. Cap to pull gap on the down flat down. That is the trick that won her the European qualifier, Craig. And she makes it look good. I like how she was saving that. She knew there yeah. was going to be a time when, hey, I need to ace up my sleeve, and that was it. I think we have just about two minutes left, I'm hearing. We're hearing two minutes. Hannah Ecola going down a little bit on the front board, same way. Oh, this is too exciting. I'm stressed out. I'm... <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Get the coping name. Beautiful frontside invert, but you can tell by her body she's like, language. She's like, I've done those. Like, I want the top. Uh, Creed, can you take me higher, she says. Yuri trying that backside lip slide there. Not quite getting teed up, but. She looks like she's having fun. Yeah. Ooh. Look at the crowd out there, too. I mean, people are, this is a great day at Woodward Park City. Egan Wynch, she's coping hunting as well. Oh. Yeah! Oh my good word. There, there was mitt on coping, yeah. I think. Yeah, she's getting up there. And that crail, like, Egan is well known for that crail. Two minutes left in this jam. We're down to one minute, pardon me. 60 seconds. Again, quick math there. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I've, I've been working on 
Ella Sorensen. Ooh, 50-50 front board on the down, of the down flat down. Board back to regular. You could hear Dara in your voice. You saw maybe not to the end of the rail, but back to regular. She's got about 30 seconds to run back up there. Grace Warner, maybe going for a board side pretzel off the wall ride, but she should be happy. She's been riding great. Wow. Wally Breek. That was. Cat-like reflexes. Very much so, and, and a different takeoff than we've seen a lot of the riders use for the front blunt same way on those wall rides. Henna. Oh, so that was very close. That was very close as well. Momo, front blunt same way, goes into the fencing. Oh, I wanted her to put that down, that was so Stylish. Sorry, back, back blunt, back same blunt, way. Back blunt, same way. I'll never make that mistake again. I'm sorry. You might. I mean, it's true. Might make that mistake again, and it's okay. I'll forgive you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you actually might. <laughs> Jubes, great okay, method. method. You're a method connoisseur. How do you feel about that one? I like that method a lot. Um, I prefer between the bindings. She went outside, but. Rider's choice. Yep. One is not better than the other. No. It's just preference. It's, how, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And the important thing is, I think Jupes' dad would have been proud. Yeah. JF belt chat. Okay, Egan. Okay, she wants the top. She wants to end this with a bang. <sighs> Give her one more. Please. Let's get another 30 seconds on the clock. Naima, this is a battle for the coping. Oh, getting word. This is our last rider. Can Naima touch the coping here at the Uninvited Invitational? Come on, Nai. <gasps> oh, she touched more than coping. Oh, she went a little bit of an overcorrect. <sighs> That's the hard thing about frontside inverts, you know? Very precise. Trip. You, have, you have to be very precise to touch that coping perfectly. Ah, oh, she's she's laughing. She's having a good time, but that's not what she wanted. And was that the last rider on course, Craig? I'm getting I'm getting word that is the last rider on course. So, Dara Reed and our wonderful viewers at home, that does it for the Uninvited Invitational, the second annual yeah. at Woodward Park City presented by North Face. What but that's not all. We're not done today, okay? We There's got a lot more. more action for you, so don't go anywhere. Um, before we get to the Bald Face Best Air that will be coming up in just a moment's time, um, we're going to take a little look back at some of the highlights from this three-hour jam format so you folks at home can get a refresher of what kind of went down today, Dara. I can't wait to see more. Shall that we? flew by. Let's that did flew by. That did fly by. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? My name's Jess Kamira. We're here at Woodward Park City for the 2024 Uninvited Invitational. Nothing like this has ever been done before. We did it last year, but we're just taking it to the complete next level this year. We are so excited to be here. They're starting to put the rails in right now. We have a completely new fleet of rails that the park crew and our lead builder, Ben Belock, has built for this competition specifically. We're not reusing any features. Everyone at Woodward has been working so hard to make this happen. We're just super excited to be here. It was actually our dream to have it here at Woodward Park City. The venue's super close to the bottom because we want it to be accessible. Um, it's a perfect venue for this. I'm Maddie Montgomery. I'm a lead here at Woodward Park City, and we're here building the Uninvited Invitational. 
The projects I typically work on here are the events and projects in the shop, like the rails or if we have any maintenance that needs to be done. The thing I enjoy most about my job is being able to laugh at dumb stuff and hanging out with my friends all day. There's definitely a lot more women's events coming into the industry like Take the Rake, which I think is introducing a lot of women to brain parks and welding and being in the shop and the camaraderie of all of it. This project is definitely the most challenging projects I've done. I'm definitely exhausted, but it's very rewarding and it's definitely worth it. This is my best friend Carla. I grew up snowboarding with her and she's come here to be our operations lead and to help with all of the moving and shaking that needs to happen. Yeah, I think it just takes so much logistics and a bunch of different teammates to come together to make this happen. Me and Jeff spent years grinding filming video parts together and this event feels kind of full circle. It's been a long time coming and it's time to give back. We have 70 riders from 20 different countries come here to win $55,000 U.S. prize money. We just wanted to thank the entire park crew at Woodward Park City, the staff, the cat drivers. Just everyone is having a part at making this happen and making this be something that the girls will never forget. That was a great look at how this course came together. Uh, we had Maddie Montgomery, Laura Rogowski, obviously not Jessica Murray in there, um, integral for building this course. But as, um, Dara, as we mentioned, we, we weren't lying to you. We are going to get to the highlights in just a moment. But uh, do you want to have a word about how amazing this course held up for three days under the sun? I can't believe it. Um, they did a great job. They did a the course, it was riding so well. All the feedback I heard from all the competitors was that it was the most fun they'd had. Oh. It, was, it was amazing, yeah. Okay, as I mentioned before, that Woodward piece, let's take a look at the replays from this three-hour jam session. Lots to love. The party was going off, and some fancy footwork from all those up on the deck. Uh, there, there was so much to talk about here. We had 35 riders, and uh, let's take a look at some of the highlights. There's Katie Kennedy. Grace Warner that we saw right there. Um, I love this, the backflip from Katie Kennedy. She went to war on this thing, right? I love that. Yeah. I, there was so many battles today. I mean, I loved Ellie's switch from blood, same way battle. Uh, wow, that 450, I, so much happened today. I forgot about that. That was a huge moment of the day. Um, Jess's front board pretzel. Uh, that was Jess Perlmutter that, and um, that did some amazing, amazing tricks. Uh, and as you said, the pace was torn. Like there was hammer after hammer after hammer. And um, well, we had a hard job to keep up. Yeah, there wasn't a, a down moment. They, no. They just kept throwing tricks down. Trick after trick, Nora Beck, that you saw. Ali Brecourt was trying that backside 270. Yeah, I mean, all day we've been seeing just style execution that back rodeo from ellie too many highlights there's so many highlights. that was one of my favorites there from naima that front side invert on the difficult uh softball fence the chain link fence ben Balock actually handmade that i love that backside rodeo from ellie weiler um she did it like three separate times so i gotta ask you this after we watch some beautiful methods from katie kennedy and juliet pelchat Speculation, who do you think's walking away with 13 grand era? I do not envy the judges right now. I have no idea. That's I just they've all been riding so well. What do you think, Craig? I mean, I, you got to reward those big tricks. Like when I saw Iris Pham and I saw Grace Warner front board through the down flat down, there's a good look at Grace's to wow. fakey. She also did it back to regular as well. Um, those are some standouts for me. There was a lot of um, very clinical riding. Like, there was a lot of riders who did hard tricks on every single feature. We just saw Talma that nolly back tail. Um, so it, there's probably a group of five, you know? Talma, Grace, Iris, Naima. That was Ellie. her last. Ellie Weiler, Jess Perlmutter. Um, I mean, there was no shortage of hammers from the uninvited Invitational 2 at Woodward Park City, presented by the North Face and Dara Reed McLean. I've had a blast here, but it's not over. It's been my pleasure.
It's uh, not over, as I mentioned. Uh, welcome back into the booth. My name is Craig McMorris. As I mentioned, Dara Reed McLean. And um, Bald Face Best Air. That's going to be coming up. It's a 45-minute jam session. After watching today, do you have eyes on anybody that you think could take the free trip to Bald Face? I want to see Ellie go to Bald Face. I don't mean to pick favorites. I. You're not picking favorites. You're picking... That back rodeo. And I think she has more tricks in her pocket. She's been saving them for the Bald Face. I would agree with you. Right I, there. I think somebody is going to go upside down. I think they're going to go upside down and go very large because it is just the best air. What we saw previous was a three-hour jam session. You're celebrated on your entire body of work, right? right. You got to hit all the features. You got to do technical tricks. Uh, you got to do a bunch of tricks here. A little different. It is the best air. And the difference about the bald face best air is it's a focus on the hip. It's the best air on the hip. So they can just forget about the rail features. Not that they want to because they were having a blast on them, but this is just a bald face best air award on the hips. Absolutely. And we have a different field. You saw the 35 that made it through the two days of qualification in that three hour jam session here at the bald face best air. It is everyone that competed in the last two days. So everyone hung around and they're going to be attacking these two hip features. So Dara, we are very excited to get this thing fired up. We're going to take a quick break though, before we do. So folks don't go anywhere. We will see you in a moment's time at the bald face best air from Woodward Park City. Can't wait. The idea that we got back then was that girls were kind of a joke and nobody would take us seriously. If there was a guy in a whole video full of men who had like a ponytail or something, like I would watch that part over and over and kind of squint my eyes to pretend it was a girl. Just to like convince myself that that's what I want to look like. And so I never thought that we'd get to a point, at least in my lifetime, where the level is so high. When you're fighting for change or something, you don't get to see that much change in your lifetime. And I've seen it in 10 years. It's really like heartwarming to see girls be able to like have their confidence. We always knew we could do it, but we just had to jump through so many hoops to get there. And now with some of those hoops removed, like the sky's the limit. That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any snakes? Nope. You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. <laughs> Is that a buffalo? Babe, yeah, that's a cow. <laughs> the Subaru Cross Trek Wilderness. Adventure on the edge.
What's going on, everybody? Thanks for sticking with us. The Uninvited Invitational 2 at Woodboard Park City presented by the North Face. We just saw mind-melting, absolutely mind-melting three-hour jam session from 35 of the world's best female snowboarders. And uh, there were some highlights. It was exciting. It was very exciting. It was exciting. a lot of highlights. It was a lot. Too many to list. There is. There It'll is. Take us forever. We're going to find out who came out on top in about an hour's time. In the meantime, we have the Bald Face Best Air event. Derek, can you talk us through it? I mean, this is kind of the moment I've been waiting for, although there have been a lot of great moments. But the Bald Face Best Air Award. Uh, any of the 70 riders from the last three days can compete in this one, and one person is going to walk away with a trip to Bald Face. And I think that unto itself. I don't think we can put a dollar amount on that. That's priceless. Absolutely not. That's absolutely priceless. Yep. So it is the bald face best air. You may be thinking, Craig, you should be saying big air. It's not a big air contest. You listen to me right now. It's not a big air contest. It's a best Although air. The best air might go big. You have to go big. We're not it saying don't not go be big. The biggest air. It might just be the best, the best air. one. The best one. So Could that be the one that looks the best or goes the most upside down, the most upside down. And that's a term that we're going to try and uh, unpack in I'm a moment's for time. That. I'm As opposed to, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dara would be the most upside down out there. If it were me and I were competing for the Bald Face Best Air Award, I would want to be the most upside down. Absolutely. Okay, we're 30 seconds away from dropping into the Bald Face Best Air here at the Uninvited Invitational presented by North Face. Now, Dara, what trick do you think is going to win this thing? Oh, it's a really tough question, Craig. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting you to ask me that. Um, Full of surprises. I think we're going to see some more back rodeos from Ellie, probably some more Crippler backflip things from Katie. I want to see a really nice, massive method, obviously. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Craig? Well, it's kind of interesting because we've seen a couple of the riders almost max out the hip portion of it, right? It's it's two hips, but they curve kind of like a skateboard bowl into quarter pipe. So you are only allowed or only able to go so far on the hip. And that's why I think it's interesting that it's the best air because... Right. Riders will be able to max this thing out pretty easily. It's it's what you do in that air. Um, so I agree with you. We saw a couple really cool cool hip hits in the three-hour jam session. We haven't seen too many nice 360s uh, spins in that that sense. So. In that yeah, in that realm, right? Which I think we will definitely be playing in for the bald face best air. But uh, before we drop the riders for that, as you get a good look at the wind and conditions here at Woodward Park City. Um, I just want to break down what we just saw, that three-hour jam session, $56,000 prize purse. The winner of that is going to walk away with thirteen grand, and you're looking at someone who possibly could be that person, Annika Morgan, out of Germany, Dara. Yeah, Annika has been throwing down all week. Um, for, she's an Olympian. She is an Olympian. She's an Olympian. She's no stranger to the contest setting. Works well under pressure, you could say. She had that, Here she goes. That great backside 270 on the down flat down in the event. And talk wow, about maxing wow. it out. That's that about as far as you could go. Out. Yeah. <laughs> so Annika Morgan with that big start. Really great. Way. She's that is. setting the bar high. Yeah. As we mentioned, there was only 35 riders in our final. We started with 75 three days ago, chopped that down to 35 in the finals. But this bald face best air event, 
is going to be the entirety of that field. So 75 possible riders. Obviously, we had a couple injuries throughout the past couple days, hoping that everyone is healing up and feeling better. But if you were here and you were competing, you are in this event. We just saw Annika Morgan out. Annika Morgan out of Germany go huge. I would love to see right Annika. Hand. I would love to see what she would do at Baldface. Have you been to Baldface, Craig? I've never been to Baldface. You've never been to Baldface, But Craig. I've heard beautiful, amazing things. It's right up there with Woodward Park City. It's one of my favorite places on Earth. You were very clear about this being your favorite place on well, Earth. Well, I love Baldface, too. Okay. <laughs> Magical place. This is Hana, one of the 70 riders. She wasn't in finals, but she wants that best air. She wants that trip. It's a good look at Ali Bre Alyssa Brecourt. She wasn't actually in the top 35. She was first alternate, but Emma Crosby went down, unfortunately. So Ali got the nod. Rode very good. Rose to the occasion. Shout out to the most magical place on earth. Method. I did say I wanted to see one of those. I'd like to see one a little bit bigger. Well, she's got 45 minutes of jam time to do it a little bit bigger. This is Savannah. She wasn't in finals today. She is rested and ready for the hip. Savannah Shishki. Not Savannah Shinsky. Nope. And I don't have last names in front of me, Craig. <laughs> yes, and as we mentioned, we uh, only have the names of the 35 riders that were in the final here. So there will be a lot of new faces. And I wish Savannah to... Shinsky was here. Yeah, you'll have to forgive us for that. My bad. Okay, Madison Blackley, she was a finalist. Rode very good. I, I liked how she, she attacked every single feature, right? Very consistent rider. Yeah. Nice stale fish. Came in with the plan, executed the plan. So this is kind of like a whole new game because they can really focus on one feature. Like notice they're not, they're like, meh. We've had enough time with the concrete and the rails. We're just hitting the hit now. This is Ellie Weiler, she's got a new jersey wow. on. I didn't even realize that was Ellie. She changed her outfit for the bald face best air. Switch it up on us. Backside rodeo attempt goes down. We know she could put that down as she did in the final. So she'll go again. If you're just joining us, you are watching the Baldface Best Air event at the Uninvited Invitational. A little different from the jam session that we just concluded. Nice between the bindings method from Celia. I love how these finalists are still snowboarding. Still, still going. <laughs> Dare you mentioned you, you're more in between the bindings and person. So I like to see that. That's what I want to see. But to each their own, as I said. Okay, let me ask you this. Who has the best outside of the binding method in your opinion? I'm put on the spot. I, I can't. Save that for later. Yep. Let's uh, we'll revisit. Let me, let me think about that. Yep. Do some research. Okay. Um, that was a nice tail grab. I know that. <laughs> Remember, I'm not going to let this go, by the way. Is there a right and wrong answer? There is no right or wrong answer, no. It's a matter of opinion. Okay, get back to me. Okay. Nice front side 360 there. That was clean. 
to steal on the way in. He'll buy one, get one. Two for one special at Mayfield. Holy smokes. She went big. Now, this, this brings up an interesting point here. Yes, you can only go so far on this hip as the quarter, piper, the quarter pipe feature comes up quite quickly. But you can pop as high as you can, and I think that's what our judges will look for, is are you popping off this lip? Are you going up as opposed to out? And the idea, Craig, is that you want to go up. You want to go up and you want to go out. Mostly up, a little bit out. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. Go up. And then out. <laughs> Ben Bullock is well known and I'd say famous in the snowboard community for his ability to build hips like this. Fantastic hips, yeah. I would travel far Got to snowboard on a Ben Bullock hip. And everybody says Ben has great hips. <laughs> his hips don't lie. <laughs> that was Steffi Luxton. I think she is, she's a, we're going to see some good airs from her today. She's a former Olympian as well. Here we go. For the great nation of New Zealand. Kennedy Deck, uh, uninvited alumni. She had opener in the very first uninvited. An uninvited one, originally from Calgary, a Alberta. Opener in the very first uninvited film. Yeah, if you're confused and saying, what, what do you mean uninvited film? So Jess Kimura did three separate movies before she got into the uninvited contest, the uninvited invitational. So she's ran two events, including this one, and has done three films. My co-host, Dara Reed, has been in all, all three, three them, and then also competed at the event at Bachelor, Woodward at Bachelor, last year. Boreal. Boreal, pardon me. Yeah, Jess has um, sparked a whole lot of snowboard careers through her endeavors. Emily O'Connor there. Emily's got some throwback special blend pants. That looked like a fun place to be. Up on the deck. There was, it was a full-blown party for a little while there. That looks like a really good time. Ellie Weiler, backside rodeo. I think, I'm not a judge, obviously, but I think if she puts that down, she is in the lead and could be walking away with a trip to Baldface. I think so too, Craig, but I think there's gonna be some other riders coming out of the, I think we're gonna get some surprises. We got Stan behind us here. He's looking fantastic. You saw him shirtless. Stan, best dressed award goes to Stan. We gave him the best dressed. Yep. Back to Annika, who opened it up. She went about as big as you can on this thing. She might be in the lead at the moment. I like that one a little bit more. A little Grab was a little better there. Yep. Popped, went way up. This looks like Lex Roland with a method. Method seems to be the trend. I think, that, again, we said this during the broadcast, but they're listening to you, Derek. Right, but I haven't quite seen the amplitude. That you want to see on yeah. the method yet. But they're still easing into it. Different approach here. Spine to spine transfer. That was nice. That was the one that Naima was trying during. And, and Naima was going over the sign, too. In that first hour and a half, she was getting over it. And then I think the speed kind of left her. If I was judging this event, I think I'd want to judge this particular discipline because 
Seems a little bit easier. This is a little more straightforward. It's one feature. I, yeah, it seems a lot easier to judge. There was so much going on in the finals. Yeah, if you, uh, if you were a fan, you probably have neck issues now because you were jerking back and forth. <laughs> there was so much action. But make sure you stretch. Maybe a, a heat pad. Something like that. <laughs> Is this Steffi Luxton? This is Steffi Luxton. Oh, I don't think she was expecting that. I wasn't either. Allie Brecourt here. Okay, Kennedy Deck, uninvited alumni. What's your favorite Kennedy Deck part? Another tough question that I wasn't prepared for, Craig. Okay, and we'll revisit that um, one later, but too. I am a big <laughs> fan of Kennedy's snowboarding. Um, oh, they got tripped up by the rail, wanted more speed for the hip. Uh, Kennedy has a, a great trick selection, spot selection. The parts that they put out have been won awards. Um, Dorothy, most recently, maybe that was my favorite. I would say that is one of my favorite Kennedy parts as well. But the uninvited one opener, I mean, that one's dear to my heart, so I could also choose that one. Looking like a roasted chicken under a hot lamp. How are you feeling? So happy to be here. Bob Plum, get off the deck. As long as Bob Plum is not in the media corral, I'm happy. Again, Bob Plum does not go to the media Just want to make that very clear. Ooh. Ooh. Front side 360 stale fish there. I'd say that's the best front three we've seen on the hip all day all day maybe all the whole event this is making me want to snowboard craig it is i, I want to get over well don't there. hold me don't let me hold you back get out there i don't i can't leave you alone but i'm excited to snowboard thank you thank you for saying that it, uh, i feel the exact same way Can I revisit the question I asked you earlier about the... I'd prefer if you didn't. Okay. I thought you were going to forget about it. <laughs> I'm not going to forget about Ellie Weiler's backside rodeo, though. Not for a long time. I won't. That's going to be burned into my brain. Well, I dream about... Ooh. Okay, okay. This is interesting here. So that was like, you could argue that that was a land. I wouldn't, based on the revert. <laughs> could argue. <laughs> but you could. What do you think? But you'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're on the same page. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, glad. Yeah. <laughs> but she'll probably do it again. I hope so. And she'll right away switch clean. That is the tough thing about backside rodeos on hips is your, well, the way that you land, your shoulders want to keep naturally going, right? You only do essentially a 90. On a normal backside rodeo, you're doing a full 180 and you kind of dig your toes in. On a hip, you only do a 90 and your shoulders want to keep going, so I think that will be one of the toughest things for Ellie um, to stop that rotation. Big stale there we go. That's the amplitude we're looking yep. for. NASA approved right there, I'd say. Yeah, somebody got the launch code. That was out of space. Okay, Steffi, you're going to be doing the I believe that was... I believe that was Laura Rogowski who has had a hand in building this course. She builds it and rides it. She does. This is Taylor Elliott, standout from yesterday. Getting the loudest cheers from the crowd by far. Taylor Elliott. What an inspiring story. There's so much love for Taylor Elliott. You can just, That's just feel magic. it. Yeah. We should talk about that Andrex yesterday. And you can hear it too. I think can, the I, loudest cheer. Right yep. The loudest cheer.
nothing happened. And he uninvited invitation of beautiful front side airs and staff. Okay. Steffi Luxton from New Zealand, Mammoth Local. We got Steffi Luxton going. Holy. Oh, Steffi went big. She went big and she went out. And what I mean by that was. And we were talking about it earlier. We want to go up. You want to go up? And then out. And you want to land. Mostly up. Mostly up. A little bit out. But you also want to land at the top of the landing there. And you saw Steffi Luxton go. I, I like to use the term in. She goes on the rider's right hip she goes a little too far right and that's a high impact area so corrects her line hopefully for the next run i wonder what's going on because normally steffi she's the one to watch in this kind of a in a hip event this is kind of her domain her area of expertise steffi hasn't really yeah i would maybe attest to the fact that a lot of the riders that were riding in the final you know they've they've had those reps probably a little bit tired but they've been on their board so i don't know if steffi was watching and then you know, taking her a couple times to warm up. Could be it. Okay, we got Kennedy Dak making sure their hat doesn't fly off. Here comes Kennedy. A little bit of multitasking. That's a thing of that was nice. That was very nice. Kennedy known for style. Kennedy has great style. I uh, I second that. Mila, Stalker, great stale fish. No landing though. So I wonder what the judges are going to award. What constitutes best air? Right? Like, are they going to want that big straight air nice grab? Or are they going to want that back rodeo that maybe has a little less height? But if you were the judge, what would you pick? It depends on how big, on how much amplitude. <laughs> I would pick Trick. I think I would pick Trick too, but like, what if we see a massive, giant method that's just so well done, iconic, then maybe it would be that. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet. There's a method between the bindings. That was a nice method. But that wasn't it. Dara, while we're watching the bald face best air competition, I want to ask you about the event we just watched, the finals of the Uninvited Invitational. Please ask uh, me anything. There was lots of awards to give out. Yeah, we're going to go first to fifth. A lot of cash for that. But there was one award that I think is kind of interesting. Yeah, as we see Allie Brecourt get upside down, the Heart Award. Right, I love that award. Uh, yeah, you're right, it's an interesting award. Um, when you look at the field that we just watched, anybody jump out at you? Whatever it is, we can't get enough of it. We're Let me think, Craig. Well, last year at the 2023 Uninvited Invitational, it was Taylor Elliott that was awarded the Heart Award. And that was a pretty obvious one. Um, she was battling something as she overcame uh, everyone it was there was no argument yeah taylor elliott hard award 2023 this year you know we don't have any similar battles like that but we do have and i'm going to take that battle really quick she was diagnosed with ms yes correct so she was battling that as well as competing at you know a premier woman snowboard event so yes. to see her go out and probably do one of the most amazing tricks that we saw last year, that Anderek, uh, it was an absolute no-brainer, right? I can't even wrap my mind around it. It was amazing. Facts. And then now let's look at, we're going to take a quick look at Annika Morgan here. Big like, one. And even bigger. Maxing this thing out. But back to that conversation about the Hart Award. When you look through that rider's list, I would always tend to lean towards somebody who maybe battled something I was the gonna entire say, day. The, I was going to say I would lean towards, yeah, someone who worked really hard, put in the reps. Maybe t things didn't come easily to them, but they kept going, kept going, kept going, kept trying the entire three hours. I'd say that takes a lot of heart. I would agree with that. And, and somebody... A name that jumps out at me would maybe be Ellie Weiler, and we were mistakenly calling her switch front board slide same way, a regular front side board slide same way, but she was doing a switch. She battled that one for almost the entirety of the first hour and a half of our three-hour jam. Which would be, in itself, like, as far as strategy goes in a contest, that would be, a lot of people would have just been like, all right, move on, do the stock trick, do what comes easy, but she just kept battling. And, and 
as we just see her battle that yeah. backside she's rodeo. She's going to battle this backside rodeo until she gets it. But, but I'm sorry to interrupt you, but keep going on that, though. Yeah, I just I think you're right. She's a contender for the Hard, hard Award. I would definitely put her name in that. Um, one name that maybe, I don't know if you agree with, maybe this is a nice cold take, but I think Nora Beck would maybe have a conversation in the Hard Award as she did take some pretty, pretty big bails. She was trying some really hard tricks. She kept getting back up there. Um, that's another name you could maybe put in that conversation, but um, yeah, I mean, I think also maybe Yuri or Momo. Uh, I believe they were both wild card winners, which means they submitted videos to get into this event. So already they're overcoming maybe not being on the invite list and then making it to finals and then working their way through the tricks that they wanted to land. There's a lot of heart in that, I think. 100%. I also think it's important to touch on, and uh, we can't give Jess Kimura enough uh, snaps, claps, kudos, if you will, because what she did with how she invited these riders, I think is really interesting, right? There's a number of ways you can get into this event, right? You can submit videos. Mm -hmm. You can go to the European qualifier, right? There's so many different ways to get into this premier event as we see a massive tail grab right there in the bald face best air. So there's a lot of different ways to get into that, and I think it, it tells so many cool stories, right? Right. And it's so exciting to see all the girls out here. Some we're familiar with, and some we're not, and that's the best part about this event, I think. Being introduced to all this new talent. I mean, I am not gonna forget uh, Jess Perlmutter's name. I can't. I won't. She came on this stage and said, you, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And, and I'm going to be me. here for the next 10 to 20 years because I'm only 14 years old. Yeah, <laughs> easily. Next 30. Yep. Okay, this is a question you have to answer. No you're, promises. <laughs> you're in this event. What trick are you doing? In this bald face big air i would put everything on the line for this prize to go to bald face like i said i think i've said it a few times but what what trick though um i i would start off with the method yep that i've been wanting to see in between the bindings yep and then i want the crippler i want the crippler i think that's what i was thinking that's what i want you do a crippler for sure what about you craig i'm trying to think what i would do um I don't know, maybe backside rodeo. I've seen maybe, you do a few of those. Maybe a turtle roll. What the heck is a That's turtle kinda roll? That's kind of like that off-axis, like, 360 backflippy thing I do, but... Okay. Like, I'm goofy-footed, so it'd be off the right takeoff. Um, you might get a chance later on if you want to show... I hope so. ...turtle roll. A Michael Chuck? I don't Chuck, know if it's called a turtle Chuck roll. Chuck would maybe be... Is it a Michael Chuck? On Michael it? Chuck, yeah. That would be a great check. I, yes, definitely maybe a Michael Chuck nose grab would be sick. We had we didn't see a Michael Chuck. We did all not. Day. So I'll take it upon myself okay, okay. <laughs> to bring a Michael Chuck to the okay, there you go. That's the answer to that question. <laughs> okay, we got there. First question I haven't dodged. It's been Which is hours. a pretty impressive because it's almost we're going on four hours now, and I don't think you've answered one question straight up. Which you'll notice I also haven't asked many questions because. There's been too much good right? <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. I'm in the zone. <laughs> Not now. I'm in the zone. <laughs> this is Taylor Elliott. You can hear the crowd. It's People just are loving to see it. What's not to love? Little tail grab there. I, I still think Ellie Weiler's in the lead. I mean, I guess you could make the argument Annika Morgan is, but. I, I think Annika Morgan might be in the lead because I don't know if we've seen a clean ride away. I want Ellie to go to bald face, but I think she needs to put it down a little better. I want everyone to go to bald face, but I don't. Can we, we all can't. go to bald face? What a magical place. One of my favorite places in the world. 
Here we go. Allie's about to serve something up on the hip. What she got? Oh, Allie Brecourt. Okay. Trying to get that back flip around. I like watching Allie snowboard. I like I I think she's getting out of her comfort zone. She's, she's trying, trying a yep. lot of things. That backside 270 attempt that we saw yep. earlier. There we go. Facts. That's it. Yep. That's the cleanest yep. one. Ellie Weiler, backside rodeo out of Colorado. So this is a tough one. Is it the Annika Big Air or is it the Ellie backside rodeo? Well, remember the name. I think I'm going to allude to the name of the event. The best bald face air. best air. Not necessarily big air. It's the best air. She wants Hard to say. But I do know that someone's life is going to change once they go to bald face. <laughs> That's an absolute fact. <laughs> It's a Dara Reed McLean guarantee. Ooh, that was a nice stale fish from Celia. Okay, next I want to see a 360, a big one. Egan could give this to me. I knew it. I'm predicting the future. You're seeing it. Here on this live feed. I don't know how I'm doing it. You're it's two like steps ahead power. of everybody. If Egan does that and lands it, I'd say she could maybe get the prize. Wow, that was a flex. That was a flex. It was a, it's a quite bold the move. Flex. It's a bold move. I'm not even sure what to call that. <laughs> it was a statement. Statement was made. <laughs> Just over 15 minutes left in this bald face best air event. That's a good tweak. Good execution of the tuck knee. You know, that backhand yeah. in between the bindings, dropping the back knee. Ooh. Another nice little tweak. A little bit more amplitude. Not a land, though. Not a land. Nope. You got to have it all. Craig, what do you want to see on these hips? I want more flips, more to flips. be honest with you. Craig loves flips. I like, well, you can't go, like, we've. I mean, when Annika goes as big as you possibly can on the first hit, You're I feel like. You're maxed out, yeah. You might as well get upside down. Yeah. That's what I always say. Yeah. And that's the only way I think you're going to differ. <laughs> differ. You always say that, Dara. It's crazy. <laughs> Every conversation is honestly, I've been meaning to talk to you about this. <laughs> like, Dara, I get stop it. Talking about <laughs> you might as well get upside you down. You might as well get upside down. I'm like, we're at the airport. I don't. <laughs> Where? Will you yeah. go? There's, there's the handstand again. Uh, yep, yeah. yep. We've been here for a, a couple hours now. <laughs> it is we're a good statement. Fun. If you're going to have something you say all the time, that's a good one. I want that to be my slogan. Yeah. I'm going to make a bumper sticker. It's a very I'm going to put it on my Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll be our Subaru standout. <laughs> I think that's for sure what I want to see. I, we saw the back. I, let's see a Michael Chuck. Uh, yeah, I want to see a Michael Chuck. Katie Kennedy's probably really tired because she was riding through the whole finals, but I think she could do one of those big backflips. Like she was going to the end. Here's Annika yeah, Morgan. Where is Katie Kennedy? She, Katie Kennedy loves bald face. That was a great landing on that Weddle grab right there. Craig, what's your favorite straight air grab on a hip? <sighs> on a hip? Yep. I mean, the routine answer, what everybody expects you to say is a method. I understand that, a well done method. Can I interrupt you? Is yeah, please. Before you answer, I want to change my answer. Okay. 
<laughs> I just remembered that a straighter Japan would be my favorite thing to see. Is that what you were going to say, Richard? Wow. <laughs> so mine's a straighter Japan grab. Uh, <laughs> 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 yep. No, I, I, actually, here, actually, this is maybe an unpopular opinion, but if somebody does like a really good crail grab on a hip, like really tall. That is a very unpopular opinion. Thank you. I disagree. Well, you From took the, the two best heart. ones. You said method and then you said Japan. <laughs> so instead of just me being like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's give some variety. Yeah, let's maybe mix it up a little bit here. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I don't, it, maybe that's my podium. That's my top three. Yeah. You know what actually I think is an underrated trick too is the stale fish. I've seen a couple good stale fishes yep. on a hip. It's a backhand on the heel side edge in between the bindings. Nearing the 10 minute mark of this bald face best air contest here at the Uninvited Invitational. Oh, here's a question for you. What trick do you think Jess Kimura would do? I know for a fact that Jess Kimura would max out a method uh, not between the bindings. And, and there's my answer I, to your question. I can't question. believe. <laughs> Craig, I you can't. set me up and I missed. That's okay. A swing and a miss. Not even a swing. There was a, it was just full miss. You set me up for success, and I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jess has my favorite not between the findings method of all time, for sure. Thank you for asking. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> we got there. Wow. The jam session actually wasn't 45 minutes. We just kept it going. <laughs> Until I could get, <laughs> the there was a right answer, and it took me 45 minutes. But I got there. I'm a slow learner. It's wild because I feel like, and this is maybe an unpopular, like more Europeans do outside the bindings, and more North Americans do inside the bindings. But just Kamara, obviously North American, got one of the best outside the binding methods. When we say outside the bindings, that's that front hand, like obviously outside of the bindings, but like that Nellen, that Newt. Not quite a See, nose, not me, quite a method. To me, it's confusing because that placement of the hand on the board would be illegal in any other context. Yeah. So why do we get a pass for the method? But again, to each their own. To each their own. We got doubles now. It's synchronized snowboarding in the bald face best air. I haven't seen a back three. No. Nope. Alley oop. Taylor Elliott dropping in next. That was my favorite method of the day. You heard it here first, folks. Indy. All right, we are getting word, Dara. Ten more minutes left in the bald face. Best air. Ten more minutes. And Celia just did a pretty nice 360. Did a 360. I'm still pulling for Ellie Weiler in terms of our leader with the backside rodeo. And this is Laura Rogowski. One of our course builders. Builder and rider. Winner of this event taking home a free trip to Baldface. Baldface, uh, just outside of Nelson, British Columbia. Owner operator Jeff Pensiero. You recognize his daughter, Estelle Pensiero. Very accomplished snowboarder herself. Ooh, that could have been a great method. Getting to the end. A little too out, just not enough up. It's a classic out, not enough up. Thanks for asking. Oh, yeah, appreciate your support. 
Lex, come on! I believe that was Lex Roland. That was Lex Roland. Lex going to the bottom of the transition. Letting it eat. Landing a little flat. That's the risk of these hips. You don't want to go too far to the right, and you don't want to go too far to the left, that's for sure. you got to be very calculated yeah. to ride a hip well. Let's a good look at Stan, oh, our good best dressed. <laughs> yeah. Cat dog, obviously referring yeah. to Katie Kennedy. Shan committed to his outfit, yeah. even through the sweat and the sunscreen. Well, I don't know if he has sunscreen on, so that will be an extremely interesting burn <laughs> that he'll have to explain later. He'll be supporting Katie Kennedy on his chest through tan burn lines for days to come. It's a good friend. There's a good look. Had a lot of famous people in snowboarding. I saw Pat Bridges there. I saw Jeff Hulse. Oh, Jeff Hulse. Saw Justin Meyer, Tom Pelly. Saw Shane Charlebois. It's really bringing Chelsea the Waddle was up together. there. Yep. That's what events like these are great for. Bringing the people together. What was your first big event when you were young? Oh my God! It was like they had to travel to a little bit. Obviously, you're from. Manitoba, so a couple rail jams there maybe, but... Uh, Not even, you know. I wouldn't have done my first rail jam until I lived in Whistler. Perhaps the Vulcan peanut butter and rail jam, which Jess Kamira was a competitor in. I remember her back tail well. Okay. She... Did she win? Yeah, she must. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Looks like Lex Roland is up and off the course. And I've looked up to Jess ever since. Since the peanut butter and <laughs> rail jam. <laughs> Let's bring those back. Or not. We don't need them now. We have the uninvited invitational. <laughs> Here's Ellie Weiler and company. Ooh, Ellie, that was a really was good method. So well synchronized as that well. That was. <laughs> they nailed that. I wonder if they can share the bald face prize, because you don't really want to go catboarding without a friend. Out of buddy. Kennedy Deck on course. You haven't seen a nose grab yet. We have not. That's a cow. That's more cowbell. I don't know if you, you can't obviously can't hear it, but um, that is a cowbell. I saw that was used. I can see it. It's our first cowbell tuck game we've seen today. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Air to fakey. I wish we had more cowbell right here in our live feed booth, Craig. <laughs> Whoa, 180 into the stairs. We should shout out Laura Rogowski because she has I mean, been yeah. on the forefront of building um, terrain parks for years. One of the only women doing it. And now there are many more, but Laura has been doing it for years. Whoa, board slide through the kink into the... Well, some of these girls didn't make it to finals and they probably just wanted another taste I want of the, the kink. Hit the kink missing it after the last two days. Egan Wind. That was a great executed great. front three. Fellow competitors liking that as well. Yep, that was a nice... Anika Morgan on course. I want to see a rotation from Monica. She's 
that's enough air. We know she can do yep. one of the best backside 1080 double corks. <laughs> She's holding out on us. Obviously, she wouldn't do that on this feature, but she could do something. It'd be wild if she did. Yeah. <laughs> I think she would win. <laughs> All right, Dara, just under three minutes left here. Oh. I think you might be right, Craig. I think Ellie might be going to bald face. I, as of right now, barring anything we I haven't seen yet. Too soon, no. But. Oh. Japan two tuck knee. Oh. You don't see very often. Oh. Allie Brecourt has, um, I think she could get the heart award. You know what? I think so too. <laughs> Thank God. How did we not think of this? Allie has been stepping out of her comfort zone. Uh, she has only been snowboarding for a few years. Yeah, heart award, Allie. I mean, yeah. I'm no judge, but looks like she's putting a lot of heart into this. Backside there as wine or as time is winding down. Pardon me, Dara. Here's Mela Stalker out of Australia. Sorry, Mila. Do you think same if Mila. you were a competitor in finals, would you ride the same board for the street style course as you would for this bald face best air? Great question. I think I would simply because. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe something a little bit bigger. Maybe something a little bit stiffer. You? Yeah, I'm just thinking that myself. If I were them, what would I be doing? I'd probably be riding the Dara Pro model for all of it. <laughs> That's probably smart of you to do that. <laughs> We've been here for a, few, for a few hours. I already said that. <laughs> oh, board slide through the kink. Very well done. Front side 360. But I did ask that question. I did have a point because I think maybe an advantage would be a bigger, stiffer board for yeah. the hip portion for the bald face. Yeah. There. Yeah. Perhaps. I think it would help a lot with some of these flatter landings. Sometimes we have a bigger board, get away with landing a little bit flatter. But these riders are so talented, it doesn't even matter what board is under their feet. Could be a two by four. <laughs> You'd still be doing it. Could be a toboggan if you're Mikey LeBlanc. That's true. Sophia Scroll here out of Austria. Air to Fakie. A little revert on the ride out, though. What could possibly be our last rider here, Dara, it in the like it. bald face best air. It sounds like it. Oh. Oh, do we have, oh, we should let. We got synchro. Yeah, we want one more synchro. Let's end it with a bang. This is Ellie and Hana. Oh, they timed that perfectly. They did. Could be a new event next year. Synchronized snowboarding. Nobody knew we needed that. 
Fans are loving it Fun here. A at... lot of cowbell. <laughs> oh, there's Chris Granier on the mic. That wraps up the Baldface Best Air event here at the Uninvited Invitational, the second annual from Woodward Park City, brought to you by the North Face, Dara. Uh, we saw a lot. Final closing statements before we get to the podium and hand out $56,000 worth of prize money. Just wow, Craig, what a show. Um, I'm blown away. I'm speechless. <laughs> That's it. Well, I'm speechless, too. That was so much fun. Don't go anywhere. Find out who is walking home with a giant check. First place, taking home $13,000. And we have a whole slew of awards to give out as well. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back with the award ceremony. What lifts me up is seeing other people reach their full potential and even exceed their full potential. The reason that I made this event is because I wanted to see what was possible for them when they were the focus and when they felt deserving of more than they even believed in themselves. themselves. These kind of opportunities were all I dreamt of when I was coming up and being able to remove roadblocks for them that I ran into in the past. It feels like going back in time and fixing it for my younger self. For my younger self. The group of girls featured in this video are such incredible individuals and they're all so different from each other, but they share the same passion and the same dreams. I think seeing their drive to progress and being with them in the trenches is one of the most sincere ways to get to know somebody. It was never about being the best. It was about proving what we're capable of. And whether it's me doing that or it's me enabling them to do that, we all win in the end. The reason that this is important, it's not just for these girls that I'm helping out right now, it's for all the ones that come after them. Part of skating to me is constantly overcoming fears and trying to push what I think is possible for myself. Finding your line, it's very much about finding the route in which like, you can maybe be the best version of yourself. Expression and color is a big part of that. Pink has a lot of femininity, strength, and beauty. But there is a power in owning it and making it your own. That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any snakes? Nope. You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. <laughs> Is that a buffalo? Maybe that's a cow. <laughs> the Subaru Cross Trek Wilderness Adventure on the Edge.
Turn it back. Stop to turn it back.
turn it back. Stop to turn it back. Turn it back.
Adam, you guys are going to have to stand up here for an awkward amount of time because we just want to make sure we fully capture that moment from every angle that we can. So also, photographers, filmers, you might want to put a bag over your cameras. All right, without further ado, careful. Careful. You can see when you do it. All right. Bald face, best hip award. This one could have also been a rookie. Novali Angholm. Thank you. He really killed it. See it and everyone. Get up there. Something I really needed to say, but now I've forgotten. Give me one sec. No pressure on me. Thank you. What I had to say is that this is one of the most symbolic things ever because Jill Perkins built this fucking podium. And so she built the podium that the girls will be standing on today. And I hadn't seen it yet. I just called her and begged her, please, I need help because we're dying. Um, and when I flipped it over today, there's a mirror on it that says, I'm that bitch. And I just started crying. It's perfect. All right. Oh, shit. Where's the results? I need my Hawaiian food truck. All right, this award is for, we have two of them to give away. It's the Subaru Rookie Awards and they're for riders who are new to the competition this year. Let me grab the check. Not just this one. Don't be snooping. This one feels so good because she rode so good and she was here last year to support everyone even though she couldn't ride. Ellie Weiler. all the way up there. All right. Our other rookie. This one is an absolute no-brainer. Jess Perlmutter. for Jess's parents. All right. I feel like this, the next award is the Unleash the Beast Award, which is pretty self-explanatory. 
but it's also pretty self-explanatory that the person who wins this could film their own self-titled movie featuring just them called Unleash the Beast. Nora Beck. Okay, we'll make sure we get this to her. All right, she's coming up. In the meantime, I would just like to give a huge shout out to our sponsors. Obviously the North Face, who were so kind to let us host the live feed on their channel. Even knowing there could be a titty flash, there wasn't. Also, Monster Energy, Yeti, Subaru, Union, Capita, Skull Candy, Baldface, DieCutStickers.com, Slush, Nidecker, and Cole, and Nora Beck. Get up there, get up there. All the way up. All right. Next is style. Yep. Oh, I'm going to do this. Before I finished my list, Nora came up, but the biggest shout out in the world to Woodward Park City who made this possible for us. Also to all the people, all the announcers, all the professionals that basically helped us put lipstick on our pig and look professional to the outside world because all you people did this for a price that we could afford and we really, really, really appreciate that, so. All right, Best Style Award. I really wanted her to get this. Momoko Fujikawa! Sorry, Nerve, I'm just going to burn through these. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. All right. I'm not sure if she's still up here either, but without a doubt, the best air went to someone who definitely made finals but couldn't ride today because then she did not the best air after that to her face. Emma Crosby. Oh God, she's here, yes! We'll wait, she's worth it. Be careful. All right, so we had a whole new judges panel this year who decided their own person to watch, which is also one, someone that won the one to watch last year, 
so you should still watch. Jube's Pal Chat. But it, 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 you get more money this year than last year, so. You still want to watch. Okay. Do I stand here? Yeah, uh, you grab your award. What's next? We're watching. You're welcome. All right. Um, next up is best bail. Oh, I got to grab the check. Sorry. I don't like this one, but I like to give you money after you bail. I didn't see it. I'm glad I didn't see it because I would have fretted. I'm getting old. Jalen Hansen. Are you okay? <laughs> Next up, we have the Heart Award for someone who shows courage or heart. Madison Blackley. Okay, next up is most creative. This one's almost as much of a no-brainer as just being our rookie. Naeem Antolin. All right, next up we have best trick. And I remember when I built the foam staircase at the beginning, I just really wanted to see this trick. And I bet this person would have done this trick on a staircase made of crocodiles, but Annika Morgan, get back to Sev. All right, now we're into our top five. She better not be standing behind me. Um, this was, I think it was a really tough one for our judges. There's a lot of girls out here that could have been in this top five that arguably should have been in this top five, but we had to stick with the parameters that we had set out. Um, but I am so stoked for this person. Again, we found her through someone I found, Livia Tano. Shouts to Hannah and Ilva for showing me her Instagram so we could invite her. I don't know. I don't have the paper. Oh, 
Oh man, I remember when I won hot dogs and handrails and it was 500 bucks total for first place and we got five grand for fourth place. That's, that's sick. That was my dream. That and the most insane goodie bags you've ever seen and meat flowers on the charcuterie boards. Ah, oh, this one's always killing it. I'm so glad she was able to ride this year. Grace Warner. I really want to thank everyone who came out to support today and made signs and rang cowbells. That, that's huge. That means just as much to me as all these girls coming from overseas for the very first time. We got third place now, $7,000. Jess Perlmutter. That was me. I got so excited, Jess. Great name, too. Great name. Very marketable. Ooh, this one could have won style, too. I mean, I didn't see much today because I was had my head in a clipboard. But this one's for 10 grand, second place. Iris Pham. First place, $13,000. I should have put money on it because someone was like, who's going to win this year? And I was like, I really don't know, but I think I do know. Maybe we all know. Tell Masaki Paju. Oh, she's going to cry for this one, for sure. Oh, she's already crying. Telma because Hannah, I mean, I, probably a lot of these girls are wondering how they got invited to this contest. Oh God! Oh God!
Can I get pictures, pictures of, of you guys, guys just, just holding the checks? Holding the checks? Welcome back to the broadcast booth. There you have it. Congratulations to Telma Sharkapadju, our uninvited invitational winner of the second annual, presented by North Face, obviously, here at Woodward Park City. Uh, Dara Reed, McLean, I had a blast. Do you have any final thoughts before we roll this thing out? I had a blast as well, Craig McMorris. Uh, I, I, wow, again, <laughs> I'll say it again. Uh, congrats <laughs> to everyone. That was amazing to watch. I'm so excited for all of you. That's a lot of money to walk home with and... Great work. Great work. We yep. had a pleasure calling this thing. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors, to everybody that built the course, to Jess Kimura for creating this beautiful, beautiful space for snowboarding to thrive. Uh, also, major thanks to everybody in the truck. They made this so seamless. And major thanks to you, Dara. I had so much fun. Thanks, Craig. We will see you next year at the Uninvited Invitational. We don't know where it will be. We hope it's here. And we hope to see you on this live stream as well. Thanks yep. for watching. Turn it back.